good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good whatever time of day it is for you. Good day. It is Sunday fun day. Why did I say fun day? Now, we're, we're playing D&D again. <laughs> uh, we're back with the Out of the Abyss campaign. The party has just made it out of the whole stone tunnels. They're collecting the rewards, and they're getting ready to, well, eventually, continue their journey out of the Underdark. Today we have a Cerulea. Cerulea, that's hey. not Cerulea. Anyway. Cranky Pants. What's up? Mystic Rin. Hello. Caramel Cactus. Hi, everyone. Little Tree. Yo, what up? Star King. <laughs> Hello. And Cold One. Hello. <laughs> and um, and I don't recall if we uh, finished this discussion from last week, but Single Sushi is not going to be playing with us anymore. So who wants to take over her character? I can Aww. take it over. Um, continue unless anyone else wants to. That's so sad. Is there a reason why she stopped? Um, she's got really busy, and she just kind of completely lost track of where we're at in the game. Ah. Uh. So, okay, so, was it Caramel? You wanted to take control of her? Oh, uh, I will if need be. Okay. So we have to keep track of oh, everything. Okay, there we Are go. you sure you can do that today, Caramel? Don't you have like work stuff you're doing? Yes, but playing sushi is easy. Go in and smack things. Basically. Okay, you have control over uh, Eldiff. Sweet. Um, normally, like, I, I wouldn't really bother this, but Eldiff is kind of needed if you guys are going to try to head to the Dwarf City with the information you got. Which just happens to be... I now that I think about it, Khan and Cold One are supposed to head there, too. With their reports. I don't know if you guys remember the purpose of you being here. I remember that there is a cult of some kind, and that's a <laughs> about it buddy Khan, do you remember your purpose for being here <laughs> i just heard about some dragon stuff and i'm just following the rules that's it okay um that's the rest of the party doesn't... we are very good at our jobs <laughs> Did... <laughs> Did the rest of the party doesn't know about this Khan, cold one you are hired to investigate uh, <clears throat> the rumors about, you know, cults summoning up demons and trying to get information on that. And in these tunnels, you did find a cult trying to bring about Demigorgon that is trying to use his influence to drive all the Drugar and Doro mad. Well, Doro's already mad, but the Drugar insane mm -hmm. in preparation for bringing up the Demigorgon. And your contact is in the Dwarven City that I can't remember the name of off the top of my head. <laughs> uh, it's um, Gontogrim. I, I don't know if I said that. I know I said that wrong, actually. The G-A-U-N-T-L-G-R-Y-M. Mm -hmm. And Nango, what's his name? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So, that was your mission. All right. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. So, technically, if, like, since uh, Sushi's character has connections in Gontogram, that was the party's purpose for trying to get out of the Underdark and try to get there for safety. You just happen to be going to the same area, but I don't know if you guys actually mentioned that or talked about that to each other you just kind of met each other in the tunnels and decided to stick together for safety yeah we definitely did not have that conversation <laughs> that is correct okay, so now you guys are out of the wholesome tunnels collecting your rewards you're in the town of grog slag what do you do bazaar <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty bizarre request, Red. Okay. I already made that joke. <laughs> okay, Fail Lynn wants to go to the Blade Bazaar to do some shopping. I need stuff. And I saved up gold and everything. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, who wants to go yeah. to the Blade Bazaar with uh, Fail Lynn? And who wants the to do The Blade Bazaar is where the Smiths are, right? Uh, yes. 
Come join me. It's gonna be fun. Okay, no, I no, no graffiti on the walls. I got absolutely no coins at all. Okay, so where are you gonna I go? I saved up a lot. I'm just gonna <laughs> stay with the people in the tavern so far. Okay. Um, Aloria is gonna chill out in the tavern. Phelan and Krunk are heading to the Blade Bazaar with Rosalind and the tree. Where are you going there too? Um, tree is currently hiding. So I don't know where tree is. Oh, hiding. that's right. Uh, you, you haven't met up at the party again. Yeah, Adian's just kind of like hiding somewhere with the mule and whiskers. Well, if anyone's going to see you first, I think it's going to be a Loria. The, the because mules, I think it'll okay. make more sense that you're going to be near the inn and tavern area. Taking oh, yeah. care of whiskers. So, first we're going to take care of uh, Mystic Ren's group. Was there... Okay, Ren, I know what you want. You're trying to get spell supplies. Yes. Did anybody else want to do any kind of shopping in the bazaar? I think Kronk needed some mending. Now, Kronk, you wanted to do something with that metal black chunk, right? And also, I want to try to sell uh, some stuff. Okay. Because I still have like the metal, the uh, medallion, and the diamond. All right, so we could take care of that real quick. What are you trying to sell? Uh, the metal, the man, uh, medallion, and the diamond. Okay, the medallion. How much? Uh, how much price did I put on the medallion? I'm going to be one hundred twenty-five for a little bit uh, while I work. Okay, are you going to try to haggle? Yes. Okay, go ahead and give me a persuasion check. Performance uh, persuasion. <laughs> All right, you're able to you you sell it as base value, one twenty five. E. One twenty five. Now you also wanted to sell the the diamond, right? Mm -hmm. Give me another check. Persuasion. Uh, Fuck. Okay. They offer you thirty-five gold pieces for the diamond. That's a no. Okay. Was there anything else you wanted to sell? Uh, let's see. Type of fungus, long last hmm. to shut the book, and then I really don't have anything else to sell. All right, uh, now, real quick, that metal black chunk. I know you wanted to do something with it. What was it? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Seeing if it can be forged in something like some kind of weapon or maybe a piece of armor I can attach to myself. All right, we'll say you find a blacksmith that's able to inspect it. Now, the blacksmith is going to have to roll an arcana art check, which they get a penalty on because most blacksmiths don't know all magical stacks. So we're trying to break a 10 here. When I need it, uh, those DM rolls, you give me minus one. <laughs> uh, he rolled a crit one. Now, I'm not going to say his head's going to explode if I roll 100 here, but that would be kind of funny. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is this? Oh, Loco. Shit. Loco, come on. Oh, that poor blacksmith. I had to come back just for that. What is he like, smash his own face? Please tell hammer. me something like terrible is going to happen. <laughs> oh my god, Coco. No. I feel very bad for him now. His Dude. wife kitty got him. Due to the nature of this black lump and what it was being used for, um, he tries to inspect it and like he gets kind of like a thousand mile stare while looking at the mat uh, metal chunk and his body begins to shake very slightly and then a little bit more and he begins to foam at the mouth as he begins mm -hmm. to laugh hysterically. And he just falls on the floor having a mad laughing fit and drops can a little chunk. Can I maybe chunk. check his coin purse or cash register? Uh, what? You, what a dick! You could totally try to rob him if you like. Okay. 
Um, he's laughing. <laughs> he's happy about being robbed. Uh, go ahead, and this is going to be a stealth check, to, and it's going to be against a passive perception of any passerbyers. You need to try to break a Fuck. ten. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just checking if you're alright. Don't worry. Um, the laughter brings the attention of several Drugar that are in the area, and they see you begin to try to rifle through his pockets, and they call you out for that. And one begins to call out uh, for the guards. I'm just checking yeah. if he's okay. Okay, yeah. how did it... Found a bit stone, this happened, I don't know what is happening. Now, are you gonna hang around for the guards to show up? No. Are you gonna run away? I'm gonna try to hide somewhere. Okay, and thank you for the follow, uh, Gene Rini. Welcome to the true And thanks for the lemon pepper. Welcome to the stream. Try hiding underneath his corpse. Um. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay. Can we say you, you just kind of like you grab the metal chunk, you sneak out, and go on and give me a, another stealth check. Oh wait, wait, wait. You rolled me a stealth check, not slight. Wait, that's right. I was asking for a stealth check. I was thinking slide of hands. Anyway, roll me another stealth check. Okay. We're going to move on to somebody else now, and we'll get back to you later. Uh, <laughs> code I'm afraid one. to check it out of Blacksmith. Yes. Was there anything you wanted to do in the Blade Bazaar? Nope. Just I'm just along for the ride. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Khan, was there anything else you wanted to do here? I assume that Kron kind of went his own way to the Blacksmith, so you guys don't notice this. <laughs> I'm not an accomplice. Wait, so we don't know that that has happened? Well, nope. well, the rest of you guys, like, unless you guys wanted to go to the smithing areas, you're, okay. you're still with the merchants. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait until that other shoe drops. <laughs> Did someone say shoe? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool. I'm good. I'm good. I I'm gonna stay with uh, with the rest. Okay, Rosalind, was there anything else you wanted to do? Nope. Okay. Um, while you travel through the Blade Bazaar, you do notice some uh, people talking about r like riots happening in the West Cliff just uh, a, a couple days ago. Ah! Um, this, this, these are not the riots that you guys were involved with. There's apparently, there's another set of riots that Adoro were running out of the West Cliff that the guards had to put down, and that they're still trying to clean up. Uh, Coco, Rin was trying to say some, something, I think. Yes, Rin. Can I buy stuff or not? <laughs> oh, I thought you were getting into uh, spell supplies. Yeah, but I don't know how much that costs. <laughs> okay. For... Get, um, okay. For each spell level, it's going to cost you 50 gold pieces. So for the level 2 spell scroll, it's going to cost you on 100 gold pieces for the inks. For the level okay. 1 spell scrolls, it's going to cost you 50. For the cantrips, can 25. Okay, I got four cantrips, so that's 100. And one level 2 spell, that's also 100? Yes. And that's ink and paper, right? Yeah, that's for the inks and paper. Well, you have the spell book, so you don't really need the paper, you just need the inks. But it's going to so cost the same regardless. Oh, that's bullshit. Okay, so 200 total. I will take that away and add that to my inventory. Holy shit, I'm gonna be broke as fuck now. Thank you for the lemon, guys. 100. Jeez. Holy you couldn't do the chest today, seeing that it was just on the chest today. No, that's a great idea, Cranky. Thanks for bringing that up. Yeah, I'll do the chest today. Hmm. Zero. Oh, I better get my butt in there then. Oh yeah, and, and don't forget, if you guys chat, you get uh, credits that you can use on commands that I haven't set up. Uh, I only have two working commands, the, the victory and the explosion. And you can check your commands by doing exclamation point credits. Yeah. Oh, I'm so broke. Oh, I have 100 credits somehow. I have 80. Huh, fair enough. You, you get more credits if you're a subscriber. Pointed that out. I have no credits. Coco, I don't have enough lemons to subscribe to you. Wait. Well, as long as you don't in... have to be a subscriber. No, you well, just have to be active. Yeah, if you're active in chat, every 10 minutes you get 10 credits. If you're a subscriber, you get 50 credits. 
And the victory thing didn't work. Uh. It might be delayed. I'm so broke. I have 247 lemons, and I have not bought any of those. I've never no, no, the lemons and credits are different. The credits are a new thing I'm added to the stream, and uh, not sure if it's working. Nope. No, I'll install this later, malware bytes. It, because it should be using the same uh, the same alert box. Yeah, let me go to Tidy Labs to see if I can figure this out real quick. All right. So everybody's done with their shopping, right? Yeah. Okay, a Loria. Well, okay, kind of. A yeah. Loria. Um, on your way to the the tavern and in, you spot a familiar-looking mule. You recognize this mule as the one that uh, Adion bought, so that whiskers. Its name is Rosie, on. by the way. Yeah, the, <laughs> the, the mule's name is Rosie, and you recognize it standing outside the inn. Huh. You do recall well, that Eloria, I mean, not Eloria, um, Adion went back to the town, but yeah, she was worried about Whiskers getting hurt. Well, I'm just gonna go inside the, the inn. Okay, uh, uh, Adion, where would you be inside the inn? Would you be having a meal? Oh. Or be in your room or what? I'd probably be like, that. That'd be the same area where Glabagool would be doing stand-up comedy, right? Okay, that'll be in the tavern. That's not the end. So you would be. Yeah, we could have you chilling out in the tavern instead, then. Yeah, that sounds like a more alien thing to do. Honestly, I thought he'd be cowering in an alleyway, but you know. Sitting there getting drunk sounds more likely. Yeah, that's 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 my boy. <laughs> 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 Honestly, though, can we? Like, can can, can we make Adi and kind of tipsy for this? Uh, sure. Hey, hey Laura, you want to deduct whatever silver I need to? You want to wait for everybody in the tavern instead? Yeah, I'm gonna wait for everyone in the tavern. Okay. When you get to the tavern, you see a very drunk Adi on. <laughs> uh, at one of the tables, and Whiskers playing with it, his food. This con code one, if you don't know who Whiskers is, it's a hook horror that they stole as a baby. <laughs> Liberated. Con Liberated. Hook horror yeah. and oh my god! <laughs> He's a Why do you baby. keep that? <laughs> I love him! He's a baby. Uh, they, they murdered the parents and stole him as an egg. Liberated. Yeah, His Franco. hands are murder tools. His <laughs> hands are hook. Why do you think it's named a hook hole? He's our well, little murder tool. Get it he's right. A, he's a blessed uh, child, and his name is Whiskers. He looks like a turtle owl mole rat thing. <laughs> I'm sure he's a baby. Him. I hate Don't him. Um, cold. <laughs> Do you remember the one it I said? so childlike. Uh, I hate him. For stealing a baby. Yeah. It's that Fukuro. This is the baby you stole? <laughs> this is the baby we stole. I yeah. just assumed it was like a cute thing. It what is the cute. fuck is wrong with y'all? <laughs> it's called an hook. Oh. You it's can character. consider this being set in I'm and bad. out of character, frankly. He's a baby. <laughs> this is just... This is so Futurama right now. It's like, what are those horrible orange creatures? Oh, those are the Grunkle Uncles. Tell them I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, the the command should be working now. Can we get a command that's like slash praise him? Praise him. Um, I I, I can definitely do that. But will you? God, that's kick, a please. second question. God King, please. If... <laughs> I'll figure something out for praise him. Yes! How blessed are we this day? <laughs> praise him. Praise there, him. There, there goes the victory. The sound is not working for some reason, though. Ah, we'll figure it out later. Anyways, 
drunk Adian is in the bar. Okay, yep. yep. This is this is all you guys now, Adian or Loria. Mm -hmm. All right. So Adian's like sitting at this table. He's like slam. He slams his you know big chalice full of alcoholic beverage down onto the table, and he starts singing country roads at the top of his lungs. But it's kind of off key because you know he's not very good at singing when he's drunk. So. You just hear country roads, take me home. Oh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> well, you know, Whiskers is like sitting there, like trying to eat with his like little hook whore talons. But, you know, Adian's being neglectful. Yeah. yeah, Whiskers keeps trying to pick up a fork and it's dropping every time. <laughs> yeah, it's real sad. Fork through his. <laughs> Well, my character is basically just walking past them, sitting on on a chair with the table next to them. You're going to sit at the table next to them, not at their table? Not at that table, just slightly ignoring them at first. Adian does not pay attention to the midget. <laughs> uh, it's halfling, <laughs> midget's offensive. Uh, halflings are technically midgets. <laughs> Technically, sorry to all the viewers. They're not normally this. I don't know. Same as that orcs are technically evolved boars. Dwarves are not evolved. What? I don't know that in the lore. <laughs> that I need orcs to recheck are technically the... evolved uh, boars, orcs. Coco orcs. Uh, I, I need to double check that lore, but I don't think that's right. How do I have? I've seen it in many games that that is basically the law of orcs. Well, in some games, like, orcs are, like, twisted elves, if you look at the Elder Scroll games. But in, yeah. in Forgotten Realms, which is what this game is taking place at, orcs are not from the elves. Um, it is, it is like, it's not hammered down where they exactly come from. There's rumor that they come, that uh, Grimash or Grumsh, the god of the orcs is the one that created them. But that has not been verified. We do know that orcs hate elves because Gromps hates Coraline, who's the father of elves. And they always get into an argument as to why Gromps has one eyeball. The orcs claim he's born of, he always had one eye. The elves claim that's because Coraline took his eye. Celia likes to think Gromps ripped out his own eyeball and threw it at Coraline. That sounds like something an orc would do. <laughs> Alright, so I, okay, we, we, we went way off. Okay, so you guys are ignoring each other. Back to the rest of the party. Kronk, the, you can see that the Dwarven Guard are looking for you, but you're able to successfully avoid them. Good. Yeah, but your character already been arrested once this place. I don't think you can handle a second time. <laughs> Oh, I lost count of many times how that I got locked up. Right. I want to like to find another blacksmith. Um. Okay. Well, say you find a blacksmith. Uh, are you going to attempt to do the same thing? Yes. Okay. <laughs> now, this for the sake of brevity, this is going to be the last time you're going to be able to check for this. Mm hmm. Going to do another arcana check. All right. Um, he could tell that uh, this there's like some strange magic around this lump. He is not able to forge anything out of this. You need to see somebody who like who's more skilled in magic to work with this. So like a wizard or um, he doesn't even like it, like he said it, it's a strange kind of magic. Like he's worked with magic before, but there's something really weird about this thing. So, what about those stone giants? Uh, they might know something. Hmm. Hmm. Now, okay. I, now does Krunk? I don't know if it's Krunk or uh, if it was Five that actually talked to the stone giants. Is you need an invitation to talk to the stone giants? You just can't walk over there. I don't know if Krunk ever got an invitation. No. So, if you want to try to get the Stone Giants to see this, you're going to have to find another party member that has a little bit of influence with the Stone Giants. Yeah, shoot him! Yeah! 
And uh, no tree, I do not. Now, the rest of the party, you're done shopping. <laughs> Where are you going to head to? Back to the tavern. I, I know Caramel really wants to go to the tavern. I want that damn stand up. I want it. Does that mean that I have to mute Coco again? Uh, <laughs> I love the guy at King's jokes. Okay, wait. <laughs> you know what? Um, I re-looked at the Warforge. And it, it seems to change with every edition. Warforges are no, no longer considered constructs in 5th edition. I don't know why. I think it's because 5th edition is the baby edition of the of D&D. &D. <laughs> so since they're no longer constructs and considered humanoid, I will allow you to hear telepathy. Like permanently now. Yeah, just, but we'll just say that everybody else that spoke telepathy just or telepathically didn't want to talk to you before. A bit rude. Well, they didn't think you could hear him because you're a Warforge. They were still living back in the days of fourth edition. Well, here's the weird thing about like the different editions in D and D, like these uh, modules or the books that we're going through, they're actually like a uh, built storyline in every edition. So, Out of the Abyss is part of the storyline that's connected to, like, TMH Revenge, uh, Elemental Dangers, and all that stuff. Just like in 4th edition and 3rd edition had their thing, so once these modules are over, we move into 6th edition. And all the changes in 6th edition usually happen because of some shit that happened in these books. Oh yeah, hmm. didn't, um, didn't 5 die? Yeah, 5 is dead. <laughs> Horrifically. That's really sad, because Adian was, like, starting to, like actually enjoy five yeah like if five is still alive and uh whiskers survives to at least being a teenager i was gonna have whiskers kind of see five as like an uncle figure like like, like like the mean uncle kind of figure oh <laughs> and, and and if whiskers ever gained the ability to talk he was just gonna call him stupid robot that's a pet name <laughs> yes <laughs> i'm hey, lucky <laughs> that five died Maybe he use all robots as stupid robots. <laughs> yes, can he please? Like, can he be racist towards Warforge too? He can't tell the difference between Crunk and no, Five. No, wait, you don't know that about Whiskers. Oh, they, we could make that up. Uh, you could you could assume that. I'm the one that decides this. Coco, please. Yeah, okay, so... We don't ask too much. So is everybody going to go to the tavern, or are you guys going to go your separate ways? Tavern. I mean, Ro Rosie wants a tavern. Cold One wants a tavern. I'm not. You haven't I, lived until you've heard Glabagool stand up. It's it's really bad. You... It's really nice. It. It's the best. Everything else is trash. Okay, uh, Khan and Rin. I assume you're going to the tavern too. Yes. Do you guys remember yeah. the name of the tavern? No. Did we ever get a name? Yeah, there is a name for the tavern. Something Tower. Uh, Twisted Spire, I think it is. <laughs> Twisted no. Towers. No. <laughs> Okay. You're wakey, entered... wakey, okay, wait, are you guys on the right s screen? Oh. You're seeing the tavern right now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You all enter the tavern. Um, the rest of the party sees a very drunk Adion sitting at a table with whiskers. Eloria seems to be ignoring Adion sitting at her own table. Um, and the crowd is getting ready and staring very expectantly at the stage up front as it's open mic night because every night is open mic night i just realized <laughs> this character never met Kronk. that's right yeah adian has yeah. no idea who half of you are <laughs> wait wait, wait. Like no it. no no like um because adian was with you guys when you went into the whole stone tunnels oh ah, yeah so she would recognize Kronk. He, she doesn't know anything about you but she would recognize you Um, is there anything you guys want to do before I bring up Glabagool? Everything Glabagool. that stands in the way is Glabagool. bad. Glabagool. I mean, Adian's still uh, singing, so Adian might get kicked out. Bring on the jokes! Okay, um, you do hear Adian singing at the table, kind of being a little bit disruptive to the rest of the patrons. Adian is very drunk. I'm just gonna go and make sure that Whiskers is okay before cuffing him on the ear and saying, Shut up, Kyle! Wait, okay, who are you calling Kyle? Because there's He's several characters. Kyle right now. There's several people you've called Kyle before. Kyle and Jeff. 
those are the names. He's being a Kyle. <laughs> you're cursing Adian to die? No, like, if you're a Kyle, you're a bad. That's just the way it is. If you're good, you're a Jeff. Well, Haven't you paid attention to the Rosalind Lord? <laughs> All of whom have been dead or killed in some way. He's dead to me out. right now. Our, our child is here trying to pick up a fork and Adian's drunk. He's a fucking Kyle. You haven't seen Adian for a few <laughs> days. Just Yeah, and he's being a Kyle. You, you can be a Kyle or a Jeff. Right, right now he's being a Kyle. Adian sees Rosie and starts crying and hugs her. Shut up, Kyle! Get in here! Hey, uh, Coco. Yes. I'm gonna attempt to stealthily sit right next to the hooker. Okay, go on and give me a stealth check. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I swear to God, he's gonna <laughs> die if he's remember with the baby. Again. All right. Nobody notices you as you just appear next to the hook car. <laughs> so no one knows I'm bad. That's nice. No, they're too focused You're right gonna now get Sorelliot on... if you don't watch it, bud. <laughs> they're, they're too busy uh, focusing on a very drunk and loud furbog. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. right. Uh, Adian, can you please describe what you look like to the rest of the party? Because I, know, I don't think All Khan right. or Cold One know what you look like. Alright, so... Hold on, I forgot how tall I was. Give me just a second. I am seven foot five, so I'm taller than all of you, probably. Yeah, this um, is pretty tall. <laughs> I am a 35 year old male before. I weigh 250 pounds. Both my eye color and hair color are pink, and I have a bluish tinge to my skin. Um, Adian also tends to be very, you know over exuberant with things that he does so he tends to hit on any woman he sees but especially rosie you'll notice that um, i don't think there's anything else that i need to mention on another note cold one i'm so sorry for anything that may happen with adian um, now if you guys don't know what a furball is um adian is playing the fey wild version of a furball not the original version of a furball, which I don't know if anybody here knows the difference. I've I never heard that word before today. <laughs> <laughs> Think of an elf, but somehow more of a hippie, and also kind of a mouse, and big. And... Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll put it up. Type in here. Let's see. E six two one dot org. What? Whoa! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is not Hold what I'm expecting. <laughs> okay, I'm putting a link Why to an image. Why would you put on that website? Here, there's a link to an image for Furball. This is the Feywild version of a Furball, which is drastically different than their original form. I got no image. Really? Yeah, I mean... I want to know what I'm it, hearing? Where, it, all of you are delaying Glavagol. That's all I'm hearing. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure oh, it out. That is, yeah. Okay, if you want to look at the stream... I'll have it up on the stream. Okay. It'll just take a few seconds for it to actually pop up. I I'd just, like to mention I... that Adian is now, like, hanging on Rosie. <laughs> oh. I'll gladly take away the name Kyle for now, until you earn it again. You're still not a Jeff. All right. So He's guys... just a bad parent. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, Coco, I forgot to actually add my HP from leveling up. Um, I think I did it for you. No, I still have my maximum 21 as I had a little food. Okay, like, yeah. You, uh, did you want to take the average or you want to roll? I think I want to roll for it this time. Go ahead and roll. Uh, what dice? What's D8. It? Uh, seven? Oh, you get eight hit points. You I get, get eight? You, yeah, you get a constitution bonus. Oh, nice. Uh, my current is the same. Oh, uh, no, you, guys, you, you can put it both up to 29. Is there anything I can do to raise my current hit points? Because I'm at 4, and uh, I don't want to use... Oh, no, they're talking about hit. maximum hit points because he leveled um, up. No, I, I know that, but I'm, I'm trying to get oh, it. Yeah, you, um, yeah, this is all like a, you know, a rest period, so it will say like after the tavern, you guys go... You, you'll get your full hit points. There's not going to be any... Well. Okay, I'm not going to say not going to be. I have no idea what you guys are going to do. 
So unless <laughs> anybody starts a boar fight, there shouldn't be any combat. Okay. I'll fight. There will be a fight if we don't get stand up soon. I'm telling you. I'll fight. Yeah. Somebody wants to fight. Hey. Hey. Shut up, robot. Stupid robot. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I'm <laughs> eager to see where this goes. Let's 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 get trucking. <laughs> I want to see this. <laughs> let's get trucking. Okay, it's an American term. Clabago, clabago. Uh, okay. Um. Oh my God. You get an announcement. Stand-up's about to begin, and everybody yes. begins to cheer. You see a approximately 10 foot wide, 10 foot tall, gelatinous cube squirm up to the stage in front of the mic. It, it's a magic mic. Yes. Uh, not, not that kind of magic mic. <laughs> magic mic. <laughs> that was a great movie, by the way. 10 out of 10. <laughs> the pun is worth it. Uh, yeah, I, I realized what I said the moment, like, just after I said it. Okay. Praise him. What was his voice again? I completely forgot Jabu's voice. So what oh, is a magic caster's favorite cookware? And don't forget the achuk afterwards. Um, I, I don't think that's how he sounds. <laughs> yes, it that, is. I, 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 that, 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 essentially, that's pretty spot on, Coco. That's pretty accurate. No, I think he sounds more like a... Coco. Like Bane going through puberty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was unexpected. Man, I had going not to fucking hear that. God, Christ. Uh, like, uh, I don't know how to feel about that. All right. Uh, he, 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 he squirms up to the microphone. He says, What do you call a mountaintop guarded by rogues? A sneak <laughs> peek. Attack, 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 attack. <laughs> Okay, I want to oh. lean over to whichever character is the closest to me and say, "What the fuck are we watching here?" What is that? <laughs> I don't know. I hunt. I hunt. Uh, is this like an two of them and bear uh, stalk and um... <laughs> uh, <laughs> sneak peek? How do you know? How do you know that a necromancer is a nerd? He lives uh, with his mummy. <laughs> attack, 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 uh, attack. Aiden uh, is like yeah, crying yeah, and like banging uh, on the table with his chalice. Oh, can just I, so you know. Oh, can, I just, can I just take some hit points out of that? I mean, uh, <laughs> some psychic right. damage. Everybody right. roll a die. say that these jokes are a hit. What? Why was the werebat scared to fly outside? Because every cloud has a silver lining. Attack, 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 attack. Okay, guys, we're done for the day. We, we could call it. <laughs> I want to lean over to Rosalind at this point and be like, okay, so how many do you think he has? Like, how long does this... I just like some sort of, <laughs> and kind of read back. on this. Is this like a, is this a tight five or is this more like an hour long set? Is this his special? <laughs> I'm gonna elbow buck in the chest and say, shut up! It goes on as long as we want. And I'll stand up and scream, Encore! Encore! Why do dragons refuse to eat paladins? Because they taste so lawful. I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> oh, Please God. don't die. Tom <laughs> just I... chucks an entire tank out of ale just to get rid of it. Wait, who's sitting oh. beside me except for the hooker? Oh. I think I need oh. a stronger drink. Uh, make it an even five, even though that's an odd number. Oh, I'm okay. Yeah, Did you hear okay. about the druid who could wield swords when he was using his wild shape? I hear he had the right to bear arms. <laughs> watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. I take that as an insult. <laughs> Oh, is there going to be a bar fight now? <laughs> yes. Yeah, go punch the cube. Do I, it. I, I, Thank you for I, the great I, night, everybody. I, be sure to I, tip your waitresses. And then he begins never. to squirm off. Oh. 
Oh, okay, my life is complete. Was that the headliner? <laughs> was that what we were here for? <laughs> is there someone better coming out now? <laughs> Why don't you go do it if you think it's so easy? <laughs> oh, I don't. But Christ. Or... <laughs> Her, okay. her, um, I don't know any D and D god names. <laughs> Avian is still laying on the ground, like not laying on the ground, but like laying over the table, like just cry laughing. Oh, well, by the way, you are with a cleric if you want to know about a D and D god. Oh, it's I need so sad how this is the highlight of my <laughs> Um, let's, okay, you want game? Okay, I'll see if I can find a real quick nature god you could probably swear to. Or oh. The major. Uh, I'm gonna need you want to hear about my Lord and Savior? <laughs> um, is this Balinor, god of beast and the hunt? Hmm. Mm. All right, I can work with that. Balinor's balls sounds like a good <laughs> curse. <laughs> Did you just say Eleanor's? No, but it's like by Balinor's balls, that sucked. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Can one of the patrons nearby angrily hear that and say, What was that saying that Glamagoo soaks? <laughs> Are we going to start a bar fight? Uh, no. I'm, I'm the one who appreciated the jokes. Um, if, if you want, Caramo. No, 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 let's not. I mean, you, your main part. tank is down to four hit points right now. Well, I'm looking at. Um, nobody seems to notice me, so I'm just trying to stand on the table. And I'm assuming that your cleric is way too drunk to, like, actually, you know, do anything useful right now. And I have no spell slots left, so let's quietly go to our rooms. Alright, uh, uh, Eloria, you stand on top of the table. <laughs> Good job. Uh, what are you trying to do? Actually, just, just see if people notice me. Um, well, you can't stealth on top of the table and not have people notice you. Unless you roll well, really well. Well, I'm gonna try to see if... I can hide Doesn't on the this table. mean that we need to roll perception? Don't um, do it, sorry. Well, unless you're actively looking for him, it's gonna be against your passive perception, but... He's... He's gonna be, like, in the middle of a room, standing on a table, so I don't know how you guys cannot see him. So, <laughs> let's just see what you get. Go ahead. Well, the thing is, we mess a lot of things. What? Um, well, you guys are too distracted from the comedic stylings of Galabagol <laughs> to notice Eloria stand on top of the table. All right. <laughs> Somehow it sets the tavern on fire and we all die. I, I don't get I, I'm a bit <laughs> concerned that's what's about ideas. to happen, so... Don't bring her any ideas, come on. So, uh... Zorelia? Yeah. What are you planning? Nothing oh, big. nothing big. Did you seriously just want to stand on top of the <laughs> table? And that's it? What's that? I, I well, can't believe that. That was one part of it. The other one was to actually see if I could play a prank on Adian, but considering what it consequence it might have, I don't think I should do it. It's up to you. Then why did you jump on the table in the first place? Uh, I'm, I'm curious. If you're not like, gonna do it. What are you gonna do? Fair enough. You just fall I through, was going to see through. if I could sneak a small spectator eye inside Adrian's drink. Okay, well you rolled the 19, so yeah, you could do that. You gonna drag <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> Uh, Adian, uh, are you going to take another drink of your mead? Or whatever it is you're drinking. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna look to Rosie before I do. To mm -hmm. see if, like, Rosie will enable me to drink. <laughs> the answer to that is no. Don't be a Kyle and try and slap it out of your hands. You've had enough. Oh. Okay, well. We can assume that she successfully slaps the drink out of my hand, right? I don't know, like, Rosie, are you doing that because you know yes. there's an eyeball? No, <laughs> you, fucking... you are doing that because you know there's an eyeball in there? No, because, because normally, like... you guys have no problem drinking. 
No, when she just wants Adian to stop Rosie drinking because Adian has had way over his limit. <laughs> when has Rosie ever drank anything and our child is being neglected because of him? Uh, you had no problem partying before when you came yeah, here. Yeah, partying, not ago. drinking. Huge difference. And Adian got drunk <laughs> plenty and you had no problem with that. To the point oh, because I was laughing he... at Chronicle. No, to the point where she got up on stage. Actually, no, she thought you were dead when she did that and made a fool out of herself on stage. Exactly! Rosalind has yeah. never drunk. I play oh, my character like a baby, no drinking. Alright, you slap the drink out of her hand and the eyeball starts rolling out. Uh, it looks like that was an iced drink. No, it was, it's an eyeball. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> oh my god. Dean oh. sees the eyeball roll out of the drink and throws up. Okay, honestly, that took me a second there, Cranky. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we, you have a, a puke and fur bulb in the middle of the tavern. <laughs> uh, how, much, how much do I have to roll for it to like hit um, Aloria? Like, oh my since God. you know Aloria's on the table. I, I don't. Well, I don't think you would actively try to aim for Aloria, would you? Considering no, I'm... but like, like what are the odds that it splashes on her? <laughs> Everybody sitting at the table, give me a dexterity saving throw. Oh it. my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> everyone so far have been lucky. It is dex saving throw, right? Yeah, it was a dex yeah. saving throw. Oh no! And meanwhile, uh, off screen, Glabigo goes, Oh, it looks like he didn't uh, get a Xterra T. Check. Check. No, we use I'll vote use a potion on you. Um, uh, everybody's able to back away from the table fast enough to avoid the vomit splatter, except for Krunk. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid robot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. mm. You better have a good explanation why you did that. <laughs> Perfectly well, true. Yeah, like she, like she didn't, she didn't try puking <laughs> on you. This is a splatter splash as it hits the yeah, table. Yeah, it just floor. happened. And you were the only one that weren't was not fast enough to avoid it. Oh, I was just drinking. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> can can I try to pick up the eye again, or would it be destroyed? Uh, you you can pick a die ball. Please. Can I, the, can I quickly swoop the eye before Srelia does? Happening. Okay, first give me a perception. Is this role check. playing? <laughs> yes, this is role playing. <laughs> okay, all right, good. This is this is why it's been taking over a year just to get halfway through chapter one. I've been trying to get it out of here. It hasn't been in over a year. <laughs> it feels like it's it. It's only been like six months. Wait, wait a minute, I gotta yeah. look at it. Has it been six months? Oh my god, it felt like a decade. So, give me a perception <laughs> check to see if you even notice the eyeball. Oh yeah, you haven't noticed the eyeball. Hmm. So Sorelia well, or, or Loria, you can pick up the eyeball. Oh, in that case, I'll just do that. And meanwhile, Whiskers goes, stupid woman! Yeah, he's, Whiskers can't talk. He cannot it's, talk? It. Damn it. Alright, moving on. I wish he could talk, though. That'd be real, that'd be real entertaining. <laughs> Coco. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you guys going to move on to like this rest at the end? Yep. Okay, and yeah. as, as far as uh, Kong and Cold One, well, I assume you already had a room here since you've been sent out on a mission. The inn, uh, you guys remember the name of the inn? No. Um, well, it's the only inn that, that really takes in outsiders. And I think it's like five silver pieces a night for, for each person. Unless you wanted to share a room. Wait, well, how come the snake thing can talk and Adian can't? <laughs> well, uh, this, 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 I this, can understand them. You can. No, Whiskers. No, it's because Cinder is a fake creature that could speak telepathically to Phaelon. Yes. Good mm -hmm. tiff. Oh, hey, it's in the book. Um, mm -hmm. Here's the thing, Coco. I got no coins whatsoever. I don't have any money either. I sure. have a lot of money, but well, I, ha I have an idea. Me and Stark can, can just uh, sleep outside the cabin. 
If you want to sleep in the stables. He got fur. Well, I got fur. Oh, he can keep. Yeah. keep um, a uh, now, if you decide to sleep in the stables, I am going to have to do a roll check to see if something happens to you guys. I yeah, have I my two room again. Five silver. Oh, I can uh, buy two rooms, guys. I still have ten silver. I got three coins. I got my own room. Three looks, three looks, three looks, three looks. Okay, so oh, wait, no, I have a hundred silver. Okay. Um, who wants to room with me? Yeah, sure, what the hell, why not? I'm gonna get my own room so Aiden I can looks at Rosie, up. like, all dejected, like... <laughs> oh, there's room for plenty in that room. Look, I bought rooms for everybody. Everybody can sleep inside. Okay, everybody, you could uh, max out your hit points. Dang. Yeah, I'm gonna change my spells. Okay, if, uh, for the spell cast, if you want to switch up your spells, go ahead and do it now. Oh, yeah. So uh, do we get uh, hit dice as well? Oh, um, yes, all your hit dice are back. Your hit points are back. Um, N now... How many cantrips can I remember at once? Um, the same you could before, since you didn't put a level up in your Withered uh, class, it's still level 3. Okay, because I can't, um, edit those, like, prepared yes or no? Is that normal? Like, with um, the other ones, I can, like, put them on not prepared, but not cantrip. Uh, go ahead and just put a note somewhere on what you got prepared. Okay. Just keep track of it. Because I do get different editions mixed up between like 4th edition, 3rd edition, or 3.5 rather, and 5th edition. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what that, uh, what's going on there. Now, I'm going to roll, let's see, we got, uh, 1, 2, 3. Huh? Oh, that's stupid fucking Elf Pursuit probably. Forgot about that. Rosalind. Yes. In the middle of the night. <clears throat> or whatever comes this night here. Uh, you decide to uh, take a step out to stretch out your legs. And you notice a familiar cloaked figure. Uh, staring at you as you exit the inn. This is the same person that uh, tried to get you guys arrested and returned to, uh, what's her name? Uh, the High Priestess, what's her face? Um, As, yeah, high Priestess, wait, it wasn't Asha, Asha was the apprentice. Yeah, I remember this bitch. Uh, Evara. Now, this, uh, the Sarkov, she approaches you. She doesn't seem to be aggressive, but she's not. She's giving you a dirty look, nonetheless. Do I have my weapons with me? Uh, would you? Well, it would make sense in this dangerous area. You probably wouldn't be wearing your armor, though. Okay, that's fair. And I say, hold up. What do you want? I remember you. Uh, she casually just uh, like, like leans against the barrel, and she talks to you. Like I, and she makes that she can't do anything to you now. But we are watching. Don't think that you're going to be able to get out of here safely. Is that a threat? Do you have anyone else with you right now? Because we will gladly take you on. She gives you like a mirthful grin. It's like, are you looking for a fight now? Yes, the Drugar won't protect you if you start a battle. Well, I'm not worried about the Drugar. I'm worried about your safety. <laughs> oh! Um... Like, uh, she stops, she stands up straight and she just kind of opens up her arms and says, like, uh, if you think you could take me, come at me. Uh, insight check to see how many people are with her. Uh, go ahead and roll an insight check. Yes, because I am really tired of her shit. Who was this again? Uh, it was the elven party that was chasing us. Uh, she... Oh, God damn it! of course, <laughs> really? <laughs> is Adrian conscious, or is he just, um, like... Uh, every, everybody's wait. asleep. Wait, wait. How does... Can I hear this going on outside? 
Actually, yeah. Because I have sentries rest. That's right. So go ahead. This is going to be a very difficult perception check if you're going to be inside and hear this. So you need to break a 20. Oh, I can do it too because technically I'm not. I don't Perception! You had one job, Cranky. Or insight. <laughs> this is going to be a perception. All of us? Or <laughs> just all yes! Of us? Now, the only reason that um, Krunk and uh, Phelan could do this is because Krunk doesn't sleep since he's a Warforge. Oh, no. And, I and Phelan meditates for only four hours, so there's a chance that Phelan will be able to hear this. I mean, I got a 20-20! Yay! And uh, uh, that's right, Aloria doesn't sleep either, but you did not hear this, Aloria. Fair enough. So, Phelan, um, you, he you hear Rosie's voice. And it sounds like Rosie's talking to somebody, you can't quite make out what's going on, but you hear Rosie talking to somebody outside. Mm-hmm. But that's all you can make out. Uh, okay. Roslyn. Um, you could... You, t you can't tell what uh, she's hiding. You, you, uh, like, from your inside check, you can't tell exactly, but you know that uh, she's not alone. But that's all you can tell. Eh, shit. All right, well, I'm going to say, well, I'm heading inside to take a piss, so if you are so inclined, uh, go ahead and follow me. We'll see what happens. Um, she just gives you, like, a nod and says, like, we're looking forward to seeing you again once you leave. You can't what? stay here forever. Ah, oh, goddammit, that's clever. Rosie Rosh. never came across the guard. Oh, it did. I was, uh, like, keep in mind, um, we were being chased by them, too. Oh, right. Yeah, like, uh, Rosalind and Adion, they also broke out of a prison from, but a, a different one. Okay. But, but Ivara is the jail warden for, like, you know, kind of, like, all these prisons in that area. So, technically, like, Feolan, you are the only one left from your prison. Well, you and Eldiv. Yeah. But, um, Adion and Rosalind broke out of a different prison that's still underneath Ivara's control. Mm-hmm. So... I'm going to head back inside and cast Illusion. Um, that's my new cantrip. And just put an illusion of myself in the window. You should come and tell me! Well, that, that's what I'm doing for first thing first. Thing. gaming. Sorry. Okay. Well, no, she, like, Fallon can hear us, but still at the same time, I'm just sort of like, Oh shit, okay, my buff's been called. I better get the fuck out of here. Alright. So you cast an illusion of yourself uh, that could be seen through the window. Okay. Man, it's a kid trip. Anything else? Alright, and, so, and so then just gonna like... I'm I, in the room with me is Fallon, so I'm at least gonna tell him like, holy shit, it's that guard bitch again. Okay, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Now, do you remember her name? Uh, no. Um, the name was, um, Xylif. What? Okay, you know what? You you try to pronounce this god damn thing. They made a stupid name. <laughs> Or, or, right. you can do, like, keyboard <laughs> Yeah, Excalibur. It sounds like you're adding extra syllables there. Excalibur. And that's just the first name. That's the easy part. Here's the that, was, okay, solid. that is pretty easy. Salif. Salif. Salif? Yeah, Salif. Yeah, yeah. Like, X is pronounced K-S, and then Xa, and then Lith, as in Lilith, Lith, Xalith. So you say she's a bit over zealous about catching it? And I think this Zalith is muscular. Muscul yeah. Muscul muscular. 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 Yeah. Exactly. I'm not muscular. even gonna try. That is the part about being Dutch. It's very handy. It's very yeah. handy. You Dutch so, folks know yeah. more yeah. about English yeah. pronunciation yeah. than I do. Yeah, yeah, the one. <laughs> <laughs> it's the is freedom English, way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the one so time we're being Zalith so muscular. So basically. Tell, like, Fowlin and say, okay, we better tell everybody else that these folk have found us, they've been watching us. Uh, I may have made things worse, but probably not, because we all know I'm flawless. Um, so yeah. Be prepared for a fight. Oh, did you wake Adian up to you? Uh, assuming that it's, uh, wait until morning to tell everybody else. And then make You're sure that You're gonna need to wake Adian up. Stays in the window, so that way Don't they think Don't we get protection out of town, though? By both the guards and the stone giants. Um, they'll protect you, like once you. But until yeah, 
They'll protect you while you're in the city limits. Afterwards, you're on your own. Hmm. Good thing we have a few tanks. All right. That's all I'm saying. So, we could ask the stone giants for protection in fighting them, but Zalith isn't going to be stupid enough to, well, engage. Hmm. So, yeah, there's that. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Well, I do technically have throwing knives now. If which you'll somehow wind what do you up in our technically? Butt? Do you have throwing knives or do you not have throwing knives? <laughs> <laughs> I have throwing knives. Are okay. You They're tossing knives. Now, now, guys, do you remember where you were planning to go after Grok's leg? I have Some... a letter. As I say, someone had like a mission or something. I have a letter you. that I need to. I have a golden to... ticket. Okay. Um. What was that letter? Remind the party. Ah, gosh darn it. Um. It was a letter from this guy we saved near the docks, and um, uh, he asked us to deliver it, and if we did, we would be rewarded. It wasn't uh, just a letter. It. it was something else. Oh man, do you really want me to remember all this? I yes. you, you, you kind of need to. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to find it <laughs> where I wrote it down. Okay, make sure you take notes on this. It was like the bag of those uh, what looks like gems. I, actually, you never actually looked in the bag, did you? No, because we got attacked. No, you're in the tavern when this happened. So he gave oh, you right. a bag filled with stuff. And you were meant yeah. to deliver it. Yeah. So that's... Remember, it's that bag you're supposed to deliver to... Do you remember? The other town. Crocs? No. <laughs> Blightonstone. Yes, that one. <laughs> Blightonstone, yeah. Oh my god, this is so long ago. I can't find it. Where did I put this? Where yeah. would it be illogical for me to put this? Because that's probably where I put this. I would recommend like either on your character sheet or just on a notepad on your computer. Just uh, keep it like a spot where it's just dedicated to notes. Yeah, I have like five different places where I put notes for five different things. Okay. Um, notes. Back to... I already forgotten the name blight and stone blight and stone but do you know how to get there you being um, a dark elf, it... you might know some routes what do i need to roll for that now now before we have you roll is there anybody else here that might have any information on how to get from town to town uh Let's see. Rosie and Adion, definitely not. Yep, we're, Crunk, we're idiots. maybe. Uh, Crunk, where were you created again? And in the place where my religion hangs out. But where was that? Do you remember? Outside the underdog. Okay, so you you wouldn't know then. Uh, uh, Elora, possibly... I know can't, so if there have been any thieves marking anywhere around I would be able to discern them. Okay, and I completely forgot Jim Jar and the Prince are with you. The Prince can't help. Jim Jar might. So, Fairlon, go ahead and roll me a survival check. I'm going to roll one for Jim Jar. Never mind! <laughs> I'll find someone like you. Would I be able to help, or is this Khan and I's first trip into the Underdark? I honestly don't remember. Ooh, um, this will be your first trip, but they want to send okay. you down here without any kind of information. Okay. Um, so go ahead and roll me a survival check, and I'll give you... You, you need to... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. I don't know shit. Um, <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> wow. No. <laughs> I Rob, you basically breathe. just blanked out. We're all just flopping around <laughs> on the ground like fish out of water. 
Just uh, have a T100 is gonna come soon. Okay, Phelan, you all you know is that actually can't okay, no, you got a one. Uh Jim Jar knows that uh Blanking Stone is north, but he doesn't know the route to get there from Grox Lag. He does know it's pretty far from Grox Lag. Why don't we go talk to Captain Black Skull? We have to go get our shit wait, anyway, wait, wait. so we can ask. I can help. I can help. I can help. You say yeah. He knows it's north. Yes. I got the orb of direction, which yeah. always shows which way is north. Okay, well, orb of direction yeah. is a compass, so that could help you not get lost. But as to like trying to find the right path to get there, you'll need to have a, some kind of map or a guide. Yeah, Captain Black Skull, just saying. Or just go straight. You guys could try to get a map. That's Rob say Captain Black Skull, she has to have one. Or just purchase a map to Blade Bazaar the same. Well, we have to go get our shit from her anyways. Yeah, I cannot go to the Blade Bazaar. <laughs> I don't think the party knows why. Yeah, I'm just saying that out loud. I, uh, I, I think that it'd probably be a pretty good idea if I didn't, you know, get, get too out there either. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> what did you do? Um, nothing. All right. Well, I'm gonna push Pesto and go to the innkeeper okay. and say, "Excuse me, good ma'am. Um, oh, where wait, could oh, we get?" Hold on, real quick. Uh, Cranky, what were you gonna say? Hmm. Oh, that he's gonna say something after Adion said nothing. No. Okay. Uh, Caramel. I just uh, gonna say okay. Um, well, let's get us a fucking map. So, I'm just gonna quickly role play through that. Just say let's get a fucking map. How much does it cost? Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so you're like. Oh, uh, where are you trying to get to? Uh, Lightning Stone, good sir. The innkeeper tells you like um, he'll show you a map, but most of the trade routes, like if you're going there as a merchant, most of the trade routes are blocked off. Due to a lot of uh, dangerous things going on in the Underdark right now. But uh, you need to go around the Dark Lake. Like he pulls out a map. And um, he just kind of like points at the thing. I can't really show you this map on stream. Like you, since you guys are still around the Dark Lake. Rock Slag is like right there on the Dark Lake. You need to go around to the most northern part of the Dark Lake. And then head beyond that to find Blightonstone. You could probably stop by Neverlight Grove. That's where a lot of the mushroom people live, the myconoids. Hmm. If you ever need, a, oh, if you no. need to stop by for supplies. Oh, Would no. it be wise to get a boat across the Dark Lake, or is that not advised? It's up Remember to you. Remember the last time you were on a boat. Well, I'm asking him if there's any danger in the lake. Of course. <laughs> um, the, <laughs> relatively speaking, we could get lucky. Not us. Oh, uh, you Not need us. Um, if if you don't have anybody that knows their, you need to hire somebody who knows their way to the uh, dark lake. Ah, I'm sure I could figure it out. A boat's a boat. Just keep in mind, last time you guys were on the dark lake, you had both. Uh, what was his name? The, the fish person. The one you guys oh, hated. Oh, uh, Chimshar. Yeah, Chimshar. He, yeah, Chimshar. And you had another Drugar with you that you rescued during the demon uh, sacrifice that were able to navigate it. What you remember from the Dark Lake is it is a maze. You know for sure you will get lost unless you had a guide. Ah, damn it. Alright, fine. Uh, sounds like we're walking for those. Do we have to? Do you have any better ideas? No. Whatever Rosie wants. I'm not gonna <laughs> watch. I have a mule. Okay. Did you tell Jim Jar about the Dark Elf that was uh, causing trouble? I've told the entire party, yes. But the problem is Jim Jar is still mute, right? Uh, seeing as how Azurus is not playing with us, um, like what I had planned there doesn't really make sense to keep on. So, Jim Jar is able to tell you, like, he's looking at the map. And since you're being tailed by the Dark Elves, 
he recognizes a certain path like it's not too safe a path to take but it might like uh give you guys some distance but while from the pursuit party just gonna be following you define not too safe jim jerry a uh, more dangerous than a regular path well sounds like <laughs> the path we're taking let's go not just more dangerous than the things we already found we found a fucking demigorgon well we haven't found it endangered it yet then have we did you say demigorgon <laughs> You've already been over there. I'm looking for that. Do <laughs> you not believe me? You don't want to. Uh, all Cron right, Crunk, you were not there. Let's yeah, hear our. A lot of ones talk about it a lot. Well, I'm, saying, like, I'm just saying, technically, did Crunk did not find the Demi Demigorgon. The other party did. Yeah, yeah, we did. Demigorgon. Uh, no. Spacing up. What are you looking for him for, Buck? I'm a little suspicious of you now. Well, uh, nothing nice. I'll tell you that. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. <coughs> oh, nothing kindly, I can tell you that. Uh, <laughs> we're, uh, Con and I are kind of out here trying to figure out who was going to summon this here Demigorgon and uh, put a stop to it right quick. All right, yep. you pass the test this time. This time. This time. I don't know, you want to roll insight to actually give him a test? Well, I'd like to... Well, no, not really. I trust him. Okay. He's hot. Why would he lie? He's looking... Because he's hot. Have a time. Okay. Nah, hot people don't need to lie. That's so gullible party. Okay. <laughs> he is, uh, he's, he's... Why would he lie? He's clearly not evil looking, I think. <laughs> yeah, hope. Idiot is kind of drunk, so... Or, like, hungover, so he don't know. He don't know better. I appreciate your opposite of racism. <laughs> <laughs> Most of racism is still racism. Oh, uh, racism. Uh, how dare you make me remember an Adam Sandler movie? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It was, a, yeah, it was a David Spade movie. Not David Spade. Oh, Lord, is it in the uh, The Animal, I think it was. I don't know if you guys uh, ever seen that movie. It was fucking terrible. That was the um, Rob yeah. Schneider. Rob Schneider. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, those are those are running joke about reverse racism, where everybody's overly nice to the one black guy in town. Oh yeah. And it got to a point where it's like at the end, like they found out like Rob Snyder's character was like an animal and his girlfriend is also like a had like animal parts transplanted to her body and she was like killing livestock. So the entire town was about to lynch them. And Rob Snyder's oh. one black friend is like decided to sacrifice. Like, no, it wasn't them. It was me. And then everybody's like, eh, well, I guess we can let it go. And then, <laughs> I, and then as they as they walk away, like Norm McDonald was one of the characters that was about to lynch him. He's like, yeah, I ain't gonna be part of a, a part of a uh, mob that lynches a black man. We're not committing a hate crime today. <laughs> <laughs> there's crimes and then there's hate so crimes. Terrible. Yeah, it was a terrible, terrible movie. But that's that's the one yeah. scene that I remember. God damn it, Cole. You actually managed to say why you were looking for it before I could. What? what? I'm confused. I would have just said something randomly. Yeah, and? I would. He was looking for a good time. That was why he was looking for the Demigorgon. So, Demigorgon, huh? Uh, since y'all talked up I right quick that. about that. And we really haven't had much of a chance to communicate too, you know, directly up to this point. What with all the murdering we've been doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe you could tell me and my bear friend here what you do know about the Demigorgon. Because clearly it's something. <laughs> well, friend, you've come to the right place. It all started when we were children. And then long exposition music later, we catch them up to what we've seen. It he, has tentacles, and they're kind of hot. Well, here's the thing. He, they don't know what right. you've seen. They weren't part of the campaign. So, oh, that's right. Fuck, that's right. He wasn't here. Okay, so we were tasked with... Um, God, what the fuck are those Shushar's people called? What, whatever. Rosalind wouldn't care. The uh, these weird fish people had some cult going on, and we agreed to help them figure out what the hell was going on. Unfortunately, in the midst of one of their rites where there were sacrifices going on, the Demogorgon ambushed us. We may have lost a couple of people in one of wait, us. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Time out, time out, time out. Did you say that you saw it? If we did. 
proper, not it coming, not like a book. It wasn't a picture in a book. This was the Demigorgon. No, he was there, clear as day, and one of us, definitely not me, may have gone crazy for a few days, and we're gonna forget that part, but we stared him in the eye. Khan, I think we fucked up. Oh, yeah, I think we did. I think I think we should have moved a little bit faster. Oh, I think God. We uh, uh, I, uh oh. I, uh, Do I need to tie you up in the non-consensual kind of way to figure out what the hell's going on? Oh boy. Coco, you can tie me up, Rosie. Coco, you know <laughs> that I can't say that you opened a map right now, right? I opened a map. That I can see your files. What did you did you interrupting good role playing? What are you doing? Oh no, like. Oh, let me move that up because right now I'm looking for the dream pages I have because I forgot to send right. Cold One and Khan the dreams that they were supposed to be getting, and I think I uh, deleted them. We were, huh? Okay. <laughs> oh man. Throughout the Underdark, like while you guys were, everybody was getting strange dreams while traveling in the Underdark. Uh, what are dreams? Particularly uh, magic users, and even Five, who's a Warforged and doesn't dream, eventually started getting these strange dreams. And I only got one because I got knocked out. I, I don't think you got it because you got knocked out. Did it you was get because of that oh, wait, and that's... I got knocked out. That's right. And that's, that's right. the only time I ever got in a dream. So anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Delaying the story. Continue on, Khan and Buck. Yeah, well, I mean, you know... It, it, Con, do you think we can just let him in on what we're doing? I, I, I figure, I figure I, we're all playing for the I, same I, team I here. Guess it's time to tell him. Go ahead. Yeah, so we you were sent down here to. Yeah, uh, we were sent down here to stop the summoning of one Demi Gorgon, uh, which, <laughs> from the sound of it, we did not do a very good job. Yeah. 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 Well, unless you mean my cousin Demi Gorgon, then no, you did not. He exists. You don't have Shit. a cousin named that. Don't make a You don't know that. I'm pretty sure because nobody has that name. Inside check. <laughs> <laughs> I know someone named Demi check. Gorgon. It'll be the best fucking inside check ever. Fuck. A, a deception check, Rosie? <laughs> it would be the same if somebody having a kid called Mandy. Oh, Cole. just you wait here. Like, oh, once again, actually, deception check. Uh, so, yeah, he totally lives in Canada and you've never met him. What's Canada? <laughs> well, in, oh, I, anyways, in either case, sweet, like, you believe him. Good old sweet Demi um, mm -hmm. lives up in Canada, as I scowl at Crunk. Anyways, yeah, yeah, I'd say you two failed right and proper. So, what you're saying is this is all your fault. Well, well, well yeah. I, that might be a little extreme, perhaps, but uh, for all we know, we were sent on our mission after he'd already been summoned. It could have been outside of our control, absolutely. Or, admittedly, we could have fucked up. Yeah. I yeah. have no choice but to believe you. All right, that sounds legit. All right, everyone, we good? <laughs> Is it a dead or the oh. as fuck? Okay, guys, um, Code One, I'm going to send you one dream that I found here. Just so okay. you get an idea of uh, what's been happening with the rest of the party when they were sleeping. Uh, I'm going to send oh. it to you over Discord. Okay. Yeah, I keep forgetting you changed your name to Scotch. <laughs> I literally was trying to find the name called... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, when it could yeah. come of it Scotch, I was like, no, that's not right. Uh, I'm having an identity crisis. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me oh, hurt. Okay, and, so, and, 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 and Khan, you remember... The, the kind of dreams you were getting when you are playing your other character, right? Oh, crap. Uh, I no, don't... I mean, no, I mean, you don't need to remember, like, specifically, but you understand what I'm going with with the dreams, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. This is just so cold. This kind of gets in the right mindset with what's been going on with everybody in the Underdark. Gotcha. Why do you say it in that tone? Yeah, shoot him! Yeah! On, thanks for the follow, Baby Boban. And... <laughs> Uh, hmm. Joe, S -I <laughs> uh, Joe, I'll call you Joe. Thank you. Welcome to the Chappie Crew. Welcome. Yeah, I still have the message from last time, so I'm kind of briefly reading. Have you had anyone named Joe Mama follow you yet, Coco? Joe, possibly. <laughs> Maybe. 
Out of 725, one of them might be. Maybe. That's almost, Maybe. That's almost a whole It's bird. mental illness, isn't it? It what? Well, Sounds like a song. Okay. So, so while, while, while uh, Scotch or Colon, whichever name you want to go Buck. by now. We'll, we'll go Buck. 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 Yeah. Buck. Now that Buck is just trying to, you know, recant that dream, can I ask uh, the group, like, do you know who who summoned the Demigorgon and how they... Uh, the blood uh, of the priestess uh, act, uh, fell into the altar pit and that came into the water and then the Demigorgon showed up. That, what what he said. Blood of the priestess That's fell into exactly the what happened. 10 out of 10. Great explanation. Uh -huh. <laughs> blood of the... Wait, okay. So... Are you saying that you came across... So you saw it getting summoned? Yeah, yes, yeah. indeed. They did. Now, just because we have been around you for more than five minutes, I do need to ask this question. Are you directly or indirectly responsible for said blood entering said pit? Water. No, yeah. we were not because... We did not kill the priestess or touch her. That was someone else. And we tried to not attack Stop the priestess. It. So it was not our fault directly. Huh. Maybe a little bit indirectly because we uh -huh. agreed to go into the fight. But the fight was going to happen anyway. But we probably would have been responsible for it if someone else didn't do it first. <laughs> Dave, go ahead and give me a history check, you guys. All of us? No, no, the, the ones that are trying to remember what happened to Demigorgon. I was the only one who didn't go insane. <laughs> well, that makes sense because I went fucking crazy, so I don't remember. I mean, happened. Adrian didn't go insane, right? See, I didn't go insane, so I remember. Um, yeah, I know. Fairland didn't go insane. I don't think well, Eldiff did go insane. Uh, she started running and wouldn't stop. Okay, you guys do remember that there was a lot of sacrifices happening. It's like that, that that pit was bloodied as hell before you guys even showed up. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Don's playing yeah. a muscle. Okay. So it sounds like uh, we might have a common goal here. Find and or get the hell out of here now because the Demogorgon's loose. Alright, now code one. Or Buck, that uh, the dream I gave you that's happened like very early while you're traveling the Underdark, but recently you've been having dreams similar to this. Okay, it's also on Discord. Okay, now, so while he reads that, Star King, you want to say something else? Is the priestess dead or she is she still out there? Oh, she is very dead. Very dead. Good. At least you guys took care of something. And killed <laughs> I'm pretty sure that we weren't hired to do that and you were, so... We were looking for the damn thing. <laughs> this was a scouting expedition. <laughs> well, you're the world's worst scouts because we found them and you didn't. All right. That's just hurtful, but fine. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Buck. <laughs> nope. Bring, bring it on in. Nope. Maybe this is Demogorgon talking, but bring it in. Bring it in. Okay. You, said, you said what you said. You bring, said bring it in. Don't make I'm, me use uh, charm person on you. I'm going to go hug a tree now. I'll be back. But bring it in. Oh, yeah. Look. Look. Uh. I feel like our best course of action at this point is to... Giant or I don't even know. Like, oh, what? I, I don't I don't know that we could kill it, but I don't know what else we're supposed to do. I mean, we can try. Can we poison it? You, you could attempt to. He's the Prince of Demons. One of, I... if not the most powerful uh, demon god. 
I will say that we had the absolute best swordswoman in the world possible and her allies who were sort of kind of there, whatever. Um, and we couldn't do shit, so... Basically, right. maybe our best bet's just to see if we can contain it down here. Or well, just, you know, get the hell away. Idea. Like, if we could somehow, rather than kill it, if we could figure out how to trap it, that might be more effective. Is it a way to de-summon something? It sounds like we might want to pay our friends the stone giants a f uh, visit again. If there's anyone who could trap it in a rock, it would be them. Stone's valid. Yeah, let's go to stone's uh, something. Alright, you're gonna pay the stone giants one more visit before you do guys do anything else? Anyone else have any better ideas? Nope. Nope. I don't, uh, although... Nah, I don't. Does <laughs> it say, although? Tear the stone giant! The and we'll ask the innkeeper for a map if he has one. Um, like, for ten gold pieces he'll sell you a rough map. Oh, ten gold! <laughs> Try to bottle. Uh, I have friend. ten gold. It's fine. Go, go oh, ahead and give me a persuasion check. Uh, me or Adian? Oh, whoever's buying. If you're trying to haggle. Uh, I'll do it. <laughs> friend, what are maps really except for paper? Isn't that more valuable than gold? Wait, what? Isn't our words and our presence here worth enough of a map just to see us on our way safely? Okay, good thing your roll is good, because you're terrible at this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I'm double you, what he is. I'm you, you, double you, better. You're able to barter him down to five gold pieces. Done. Alright, Kyle, pay them in. Oh, uh, have some money. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> dropped my you. mouse. You know, you should talk to Azarus more about how to barter, because I've actually seen him do it like in like live and action. Not in D&D. In real life. Oh, I would love to learn how to partner. I'm terrible at it. Like, basically, life of Brian. This bloke won't aggro. I mean, I'm... I think he was actually able to get, like, a price of a movie knocked down by, like, five bucks just by doing the... Come on. <laughs> I, I'm not even lying. I could never, ever do that. I admire the hell out of him for it, that. It's like, he just didn't have enough money. He's like, come on. I was like, okay, here you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's really not that hard to barter, though. Like, now, Azarus has this, this weird. Markets, it's like... He has this weird charm about him. Like, oh, hey, hey, yeah, Kyle, he does. hey. <laughs> Fuck it, I, I don't know what the hell was Star King. Hey, that was Star King barter. Okay, so you guys are gonna go to the Stone Giants. You're able to get an, uh, an audience with the Stone Giants. Takes you a while to actually get in, but the um, the elder of the Stone Giants is there to meet you. So am I looking up or down? Uh, you are oh, looking up. I can up. speak he, giant, by the way. Um, I don't know if that's helpful. Yeah, and that would be very helpful if you want to speak to them. Because furballs are, have... if you didn't know, giant kin. Oh. Wait, giant yeah, if, if you guys actually look up the history on uh, giants in general, furbolgs are giants. But I the fact that, that since Adians come like the Fey furbolg, they've shrunk a lot. Yeah, I'm only seven foot five. Yeah, original uh, furbolgs actually look like ten foot tall Vikings. <laughs> but uh, the, yeah, the tribe that Adians from actually spent far too much time in the Fey wild, and they transformed into that. <laughs> that. That sounds so mean. Well, I'd say Buck and Adian, do you want to talk to our friend here? Uh, yeah, sure. I'd like to mention that Adian does, in fact, have a hangover at the mo at this moment. Uh, so, Buck, would you like to talk to him solely then? Can I maybe go off my own way to find a smith? Uh, Between the rock giants. If you wanted to go on your own, you can. E. Okay, so. Yeah. Who wants to talk? 
Do it to the Giants. I, I can do it. All right. Um, I will speak to them in Giants. Just so you that know. That sounds like the best plan. <laughs> <laughs> well, I figured that you'd want to give your history to Buck so that you could fill him in on any knowledge that you didn't know. Or, sorry, they yeah. didn't know. I'll just stand over to the side with my arms crossed like, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Looking all cool. I'm basically just trying not to be stepped upon. Okay. Adrian, what do you say? Um, I am going to say something along the lines of, hey, well, we're being chased. Do you want to help? He <laughs> looks at you quizzically and asks you to elaborate. Okay, so like, we we were kidnapped, we were beaten and abused. It was horrible, actually. Horrible, I tell you. Like, the worst thing I've ever been through. Besides, you know, losing my dear Rosie. That was, that was much oh, worse. Anywho. <laughs> you wouldn't know what I'm saying, Rosie. <laughs> I thought I'm standing there with you. Oh, wait, you're speaking a giant. I'm speaking okay, giant. So... That's right. Never mind. All you hear is your name. <laughs> Hopefully something good. Um, I will. It, it, we this and the, this this person. She she real ugly too. Like she is not attractive. It is very unpleasant to look at her. Um, she is chasing after us and trying to. I, I don't know what she's trying to do. Probably kill us or something like that. But like, I don't I don't know I don't know what we're supposed to do. We're we're kind of weak. Some help would be cool. I, I don't know, right. man. What, what do you think? Be cool. Uh, go ahead and give me a persuasion check here. The hell of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10 masterfully said. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the the elder does, does say, like, he's speaking in giant. <clears throat> that, uh... The Underdark is a dangerous place. There's a great terrible things happening to everyone everywhere. Now, your group has helped them and they have rewarded you appropriately. And they will offer you protection up to the city limits. But beyond that is out of their realm. I I feel I feel like that's fair. I'm gonna I'm gonna say in giant, uh, give me a moment to talk to my party about this and then I will get back to you. Sound good? Yeah, yeah. He weighs your way. All right. So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna drag Rosie and like motion for the rest of the party to join me in the circle of of whispering to the discussion circle. I'm gonna be like, yo. They said that they can protect us until we leave the city, and that we're kind of screwed after that. Well, what about the Demogorgon? Like, that's... Is there anything that they could offer that maybe we could trap it? Like, we were talking about the tavern. Oh, I forgot to ask about that. Oops. <laughs> Damn it, <Hey>. Kyle. <laughs> Rosie, how cruelly. <laughs> that that was correct. The giant's being a Kyle, not you. You got this. Should I, should I go ask them then? Like... Please. <laughs> 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 Shut up, yee yee boy. <laughs> he did say please. <laughs> Alright, so, so I'm gonna tap Rosie on the shoulder before I walk off. And I'm like, I'm gonna say in giant, Yo, Mr. Stone Giant dude. Hey. So, you know how there's like a oh, Demogorgon, fun. like, doing stuff? Terrorizing everyone in the Underdark? I don't know, is this happening to you guys? The elder looks back at um at Holgroth, um his apprentice. I think that's what his name was, and they kind of give each other like a concerned look, and his his eyes moves to the like the extra stone head that you weren't here for this, um, Adion, but everybody else was. That was growing out of the statue you guys found in the in the tunnels. And he turns back to you that and says that he's been discussing the presence of this cult, summoning the demigorgon. And yeah, and you know, we were there. And seeing as how you can confirm that he's already out, that he's been summoned and he's causing issues, that they've been trying to find a way to protect themselves. They don't have any way to contain 
demigorg and all they could do is all they can do to just try to keep the city from going crazy if you are looking for someone or a group to help you try to contain the demigorgon it's not going to be in um in grok's lag you have to go out to find help from some like very powerful mages somewhere someone that's familiar with these rituals where, where do you think we'd be able to find that he sits back and muses for a bit this um i don't know what's the name of this town like, like he says like if and then like um he kind of gets a very unconvincing like his voice is very unconvincing when he says this like if you could convince the dark elves and meso barons on perhaps they know a way to stop him and but, then he, but he the look, dark he look, elves are the ones trying to kill us yeah he looks at the party he says like yeah and i looking from the group i doubt that uh, you get any words in before they capture you uh blight and stone there might be people in blight and stone the power or if you want uh they know that a great many adventurers travel through Gondogram, the dwarven city just outside of the underdark that uh, they might be able to find somebody that could help you with this hmm. do you think you could help provide a safe passage regardless of where we decide to go um again he converses with his apprentice and he turns back um if you are truly being followed we can't go with you we're far too busy here but we know of a path you can take that might be not known to the dark elves can, can you if, draw it on this map that i've got here hand them the map he points out a few uh tunnels and directions you could take and he tells you that this will take you to the silken pathway which is it's it's a dangerous route but it's not traversed by many it's a uh, it's just as it sounds it's, it's spider silks cover this cavern but if you can make it through there then you'll be uh, very close to neverlight grove and from there you could you should be able to find transportation to blightonstone I appreciate the help. I'm, I'm going to go talk to my, my friends over here. Uh, thank you, kind giant man. Okay. And he says he could be on your way now. All right. I'm going to be like, come on, guys. I, I guess we're I guess we're going to go see the mushroom people. I love it. I want to giant. point out, I'm, I wandered off for this entire encounter looking for a smith between stone giants. Alright, uh, you get one more check with a smith, Cranky. Please, 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 please don't be an idiot. Please don't be an idiot. Please don't be an idiot. <laughs> so don't, don't break anything there, Cranky. <laughs> what the hell's going on? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> um, he he doesn't know what he can do with this. I Does he know what it's worth? What was that? Does he know what it's worth? What it's for? Wait, what worth. is worth? What well, worth? Um, he just kind of shrugs his shoulders and says that he's never seen any kind of metal like this before. He doesn't know he can, well, if he could put a price on it. Thank you for the troubles on y'all. Okay, is that it, Cranky? Well, seeing that this is my last chance, <laughs> and seeing that the last attackment was an idiot, yes. I'm trying <laughs> to find the group again. At least you didn't break this guy's mind. Did the last guy survive? The first guy survive? Um, no. You, you don't know. You didn't see him at this, uh, at his smith. Uh, at his you angle. tried to rob him. <laughs> now you care? You killed him. Like you wouldn't try to rob him if you know he was unconscious. I'm a lawful good character. I wouldn't. Oh, sorry, not lawful chaotic good. I wouldn't do that. I mean, I'm also chaotic good, and I'd totally do that. But yeah. But and you guys wonder why don't you have that? You don't have any money. Well, my character <laughs> is lawful good, but I wouldn't do it either. Anyway. I mean, I have Ramp quite a bit of money. 30. I have a lot more than y'all think. Anyways, moving on. Okay, guys. So here's the deal. 
we've got a we've got a perilous path that they won't most likely follow us through, but it's called the Silken Path, and there's spider webs everywhere. So like, we're Let's gonna go. have to pick. We might want to talk to Fowlin about that if we were to go anywhere with spiders. I, I would say let's go. Last time we were at a disadvantage, I fainted. Shut um, up, woman. But um, we should be able to handle a few spiders. No! Yeah, I said, I said, yeah, I said we're, we're going to have to talk to Fowlin about this one. How many but... spiders? Uh, well, from what I heard, the, this entire thing is just filled with them. But if we run really uh -huh. quick, they won't catch us. That's but they have bullshit. so many legs. <laughs> they have a leg, have you a say. They run so fast. So you're more of a brass person than a leg person. Cold one can ride the mule with the midget and the hook for And you will be fine. Midget. Well, we could... We Oh, we just place the midget in the prince's hand, and wait, we wait, can wait. say yet, and see how far he goes. We how many legs fight. does our mule have? Four. <laughs> That's four. Okay, it's so mule. I'm hearing that the average spider is twice as fast. <laughs> just because it has more I'm legs. I'm pretty sure that's how that math shakes out. That is I don't think that that's how that works. Solid logic. Legs don't equal speed. An Amazonian no. woman and a dwarf have both two legs. Do they go at the same speed? No, the Amazonian woman is twice as fast. Yeah. <laughs> Amazonian woman. How much taller <laughs> is she than the dwarf? Easier means... five times the size. She has more legs. she's five times as fast. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we could go and buy a couple of spiders to ride around on. Uh, you know, no. Exactly. Te My... Technically, a dwarf speed is 25 and the Amazonian is 30, so... It's not that much of a difference. Wow. Wait, cold one, aren't you a There's a difference, shut up. <laughs> but as, as I as said earlier, which no one noticed, and as uh, Adian just said, we could try to tame some spiders and ride them. No. No, I, I don't think I just said buy some. Um, yes, yeah, so in the city, they, uh, I, I know I mentioned this when you guys first got into Gantel Crime. I got the Crime of Grag's Dog. That a lot of the pack animals here are steeders, which are giant spiders. These are the people no. we're trying to save from the demigorgon, or people <laughs> who just hang out with giant spiders. <laughs> the giant spiders are all part of the natural way of things. We must accept them. Oh, hey, the great queen spider. All I know is I need a very large newspaper for them. <laughs> Shut up, Robert. Get up my stomping boots. You all shut right, well, up, you dull, lanky boots. motherfucker. <laughs> all right, children, you're the all beautiful. piece of metal is talking. I will um, shove this flail yeah. right up your ass. Oh, do it. What's happening right now? <laughs> so, so, it. so yeah, on track, um, Fowlin, would you be okay with this, or do you think we should go somewhere else? If it's the best option we have... It's the I most will safe come with you guys. Have. It's okay, we'll just make a circle formation around Fallon so that Fallon doesn't have to see the spider. It, but if I was making a circle formation around it, she will see it everywhere. <laughs> we'll just cover we'll cover Fallon's eyes. Alright, so do we want to see how much these spider mounts cost, or do you think we could just run through screaming? How much would a spider mount cost? Okay. Uh, let's see. Now, is this just going to be like a the packed animal? Right, actually, yeah, I think they're all, well. The males are the packed animals, and the females are actually the, the, kind of like the aggressive guard dogs. Like the females are actually much larger and aggressive, while the males are just for carrying stuff around. Just like real life. Yep. Uh, I agree. I don't know what kind of neighborhood you grew up in. <laughs> a spidery one. They're very spidery. All right, uh, so the steeders, if you can convince them to sell them to you, will cost you about 25 gold pieces. 
Purse Theater. Purse Theater. And there's no way we could haggle them. No, it's like, um, and that's if you can convince them to sell it to you. Oh, don't worry yes. about that. I'm master convincing. Mm. I mean, I when have... has that ever failed us, you guys? I what? have 150 gold pieces, so we could actually ago, buy right? a couple of these. <laughs> I have 150 reasons to fill. I saved us how, five how gold. Many... How how much um, how many how much weight can a steeder carry? Um, about two hundred and twenty pounds. <laughs> all right. So, like, well, individually, it's... we'd all need one. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we could put the midget on the mule. But that's <laughs> Whiskers' his animal. The... I'm past the weight limit. I am midget. no midget. Oh, yeah, I'm also past the limit. Shut up, midget. <laughs> the bear should be fine. <laughs> the furry will survive. The furry. Uh, oh. That's Adian. He's very racist. <laughs> I like the furry though. Better than that stupid hunk of metal. <laughs> what did I ever do to you? You're the one that puked over me, and suddenly you're angry at me. You were born. <laughs> you exist. Oh yeah. All right. right. Uh I forgot radiance. Uh, radiance were like casual racial racism against warforges. Oh yeah, he hates warforges. He was getting there to where he was liking them, but then you know the only nice one he's met died, and he don't trust this dude with his creepy fedora, milady, milady. Uh uh, no. It's that. a top hat. Adian states it as a fedora. That's oh. a fucking top hat, you uncultured swine. Adian looks at it and thinks it's a fedora. Wholeheartedly believes. <laughs> All right, so then let's take his blind. Let's be adults oh, yeah. here and go um, horn swaggle some people out of some spiders. I think we should go the. Um, what the fuck is a horn swaggle? The spider road. Well, we we're well, going. We wouldn't be road. able to get enough spiders for everyone, would we? What if well, we just got some of the guard the spiders? Is filled with the web. I'd imagine we could. Yeah. Um. Can we? You could try to uh, buy one of the guard spiders. How much are the guard spiders? Uh, you're gonna have to try to find out if they're even sell it to you. All right, can what we do that? You, you can attempt. I will attempt it. All right, so the skill check needed to buy a speeder, speeder, the the male one, you're gonna need to break a twenty, or twenty or higher. For the hmm. female one, you're gonna need to get a twenty-five or higher. Crits I like those odds. Crits are not automatic successes here. I really like those odds. So let's go ahead and roll up one for the mail. So I'm gonna slap my head on the table and say, one male spider, please. <laughs> Damn it. <No. laughs> hey, thank you for the lemons and the 1000 BTT Mark Gaming Chat. Um, thank you. And I finally actually get to see this, uh, this alert. Dude. I like this alert. It's a dancing uh, sister yeah, battle in Blood Raven armor. <laughs> Wait, what? I look at the stream. We got a dancing Just... sister battle in Blood Raven armor. Yeah. That's really awesome, buddy. Thanks. Oh, wait. Coco, I fucked up. I hit perception, not persuasion. Okay. All right, so <clears throat> it is one hell spider, please. Damn it! <laughs> you failed. Uh, you know, friend, males are cancelled. We both know that. One female spider, please. God damn it. Alright, well, someone else try. No, that, that's that's it. I'm not gonna have, like, every party member attempt. It's I, gonna be I, one I'm person saying. try. Okay, um, um, can I try and persuade them by telling them, you know, hey, like, the Demigorgon's gonna kill all, all of us uh, if you don't give uh, us these spiders. Like I said, I'm only having one party member attempt. Yeah, I have a 17 in persuasion. There's no way anyone else is higher than me. I really want to just roll it just to see what I would have gotten. Would have gotten. Right, you can roll whatever you like. Alright, so I guess we're walking. I'm going to roll a d20 for how much I hate Coco right now. Go for it. Hey, uh, again? Uh, oh, yeah, I rolled the highest, so there we go. Um, so we're walking. Alright, let's get our butts moving. And fucking sweat I do. Now you guys could get a cart and attach it to Rosalind. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Rosie. 
was just about to say, like, excuse me. Hmm. I mean, that's kind of uh, hot, but... Uh, that, that's, 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 the, that's the name of the mule. Rosie. Well, I do tend to... You get attached to the Rosie. Rosie, because he missed you. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie, you missed you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this mule's hot. What can I say? We're good. Uh... <laughs> hey, I don't got... trust this group anymore. <laughs> This is the best room. Alright, well everyone, it looks uh, like clearly these uncultured people don't know how to sell us spiders as I scream at them. Um and yeah, let's go. Right. Oh Well and... you kept selling his table. That table was weak and he knew it. And uh yeah, now Code One uh, I forgot to mention Code One and Khan, you do finally notice that uh Adion has a an adolescent hook horror walking beside him. <laughs> We're only just now seeing that thing. Yeah, well, I, I completely forgot to mention it. So. What is that? What is that? This, next is, this, uh, this is our baby. Oh, it's fucking hilarious. We're only just now seeing. It. Yeah, currently it's standing at uh, what was it, four feet tall? Um, but I need to get the stats on how old. Wait, wait, wait. Is. Four, right. four, four feet. Four feet wide. It's quite cute bit. to see this. Little, it's quite cute to see this little critter use your tentacles. Okay. Yeah. Coco, he's, he's considered no. young. Uh, I got a stat block right here. Yeah, he's a, a little under four feet tall. He's still considered a small creature. Oh, okay. A little under, thank God. I was about to say if he's four feet, how much in? Because I'm only four feet four. Yeah, he, he, he's Have we actually uh, ever established if this course is a boy or a girl? I don't think we have. Well, nobody bothered checking. How do you check? Is it like you just lift a lot of the legs and you see if there's something dangling? Uh, you guys How do you do a, this? A nature check? Or, or this looks like, like a job for Buck! <laughs> <laughs> oh is, is it like a cookie oh, and you have to stick your finger in this pooper? Why don't we ask them what they identify as, you fucking transphobes? Jeez. Uh, whiskers can't talk. I know. I said. I said. Whiskers is one of them. They them's. You know. No. Although Buck did sound very no. enthusiastic. So Buck. Oh, yeah. Buck just Family by doctor. just by looking at Whiskers, you could tell he's a male. So he no, did not need, need to do the crocodile trick of. Uh, wait, 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 wait! Hang on, know? hang on, hang on. Oh, Buck's is got that? Stuff. Is that I like I've I I just look at him and I figured it out. With a twenty-two, yeah, you just know. Yeah, you All just right. stare well, I turn to the eyes. rest of the party and I say, "It's a girl." <laughs> Why do Wait, you say? What? Did it set off like pyrotechnics that set half of California on fire while doing it? Okay, weird question. Yeah, but that's actually for your future. Uh, also, a little bit for future role play. Do these creatures just like cats? Cat just like once in a time, just in heat. Oh no! Because, because it would be funny to see the hook how it tried to mate for Cerulea. I agree. That's <laughs> a <laughs> great idea. So I want to know this little fact oh, for my. future users. Oh, that's <laughs> awful. <laughs> Why did you have to say that? Whiskers, just whiskers, gotta... no, stop! Get off! Bad uh, girl, get off! Well, Whiskers is still young, so it's not a. Well, he's, he's not considered juvenile yet. That's. I guess that's Yeah, that's why I said for future users. By the way, users. By the way oh, I got a question to you, Cole. By the way, when he yeah. hits Juvenile, he's probably going to be bigger than half of you guys. Uh, He'll never be oh my. Why did you <laughs> say it's a, it's a girl when it's a guy? Funny. <laughs> <laughs> we never said he was a good family doctor. So that's yeah, right. That is called role-playing. <laughs> True. Yeah, uh, hold on. You you could tell by the, the coloration of um, Whiskers' uh, shell and around the beak mm -hmm. area is like that's how you could identify it as a male. Okay, I say all of that confidently, but replace male <laughs> with female. <laughs> <laughs> so you're basically Zoidberg. Young lady, I'm next on here. Buck, why does he have a dick? Because it's funny. You see, that's actually very funny that you bring that up. Um, a lot of people don't know this about... Let me check my notes. Hook whores. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> their anatomy, very confusing. So it's like your hyenas. 
Oh yeah, don't female hyenas have like massive schlongs? They have yeah, a left arm. Yes. Testosterone, yep. Mm -hmm. So, back on D&D. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, we went off track. I feel bad for the people watching the stream. Trust How many me, people no. do we have? We have 18 people watching. Oh, Lord. Oh, my Lord. Don't make me 18 excited. people have heard us talk <laughs> about hyena penises. I would love to talk about hyena dick just as much as any other girl. But <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not a hyena. It's, it's just a very long clitoris. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. longer it's than most pe hard. penises. What? Yeah, my female hyenas <laughs> have a very big clitoris that's the size of a penis. <laughs> and then uh, the alpha female oh, will sometimes oh, give birth. And so so, so keep that up. in mind, if you guys meet gnolls that you want to be attracted to, that that's going to be a thing. I don't so, know, dude. I, I, I really want to oh. say like a news article that was about a man that figured out he was married to another man. And he always wondered if women can actually have like a six inch clit. So, back on D&D, &D, guys. <laughs> Alright, so you weren't able to buy any steeders. Yeah, right. buy some more mules. But what is with you, mules? <laughs> <laughs> Wants to go burrowing? We could, name, we could name the mules after the, uh, the dead, the bit dead, dead friends we, we have died. Or, or we uh -huh. could just... And rush headlong into the spider tunnel. That's what Rosie's voting for. Yeah, I Or the say... mules are faster than us, and they're fairly cheap, right? Let's go straight in. Let's just walk. There's no need to pay. Yeah, these filthy bastards. Yeah, I mean, Khan and I haven't been here since you guys started apparently losing people left and right, but <laughs> since we have been here, we've been killing things pretty good. We have. <laughs> We're just weeding out the weak. It's, it's been me half the time. I mean... <laughs> my stamina sword. Uh, don't don't let a uh, foulin hear you say that. Um, that reminds me. Oh, Rosalind, you have a helmet for Khan. I do, oh. Khan, for being such an adorable little gummy bear. Here you go, buddy. And oh. I give him the helmet. Oh, well, Khan, this is a champion's helmet. Once per day, you could negate a critical hit against you. Ooh. Wear it well, Snugga Muffin. And so I scratch I behind his ear. Uh, in armor, or um, in... It, no, I put it somewhere in your equipment. Like this doesn't change your armor class in any way. Okay. Equipment, where are you? And it's going to weigh uh, two and a half pounds. Champions helmet, two and a half pounds. Got it. The only critical strikes you'll get are against my heart. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if she didn't, I would have. <laughs> Adrian, Adrian looks at Rosie all betrayed. Oh no, this isn't a sexual thing. He's just straight up was, adorable. I mean, look at him. What, what was the description for the the champion summit? What was the uh, once it, it... once per day you could negate a critical hit against you. Cool. Guys, look. All I'm <laughs> saying is I could buy mules for all of us. <laughs> What's going on? Really now? <laughs> when? <laughs> no. What's going on? What's going on? No. I would say. What it, happened? It, it, what? <laughs> it's up to you guys to leave. I've been trying for like ten minutes. <laughs> For once, I'm the one not trying to talk about dicks. <laughs> Look, I'm just, I'm just suggesting that I buy everyone mules. That, that's all I'm saying. I can, I can do it. Probably die horrifically. So I'd say we just get. They, going. they move, they move faster than steeders. Well, we're not worried about moving fast. We're worried about not getting wrecked by spiders. But we can't get any spiders, so. But I mean, if we can run away. Considering all the whip, I don't think we could just run. Plus the midget needs, has, you know. Has anybody actually considered... <laughs> oh, 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 fuck, no! <laughs> oh, oh, why? <laughs> oh, uh, reminds me of that that's... kid in Genshin Impact. Yeah. It reminds My me of that time... Back one day. Reminds me of that time we were playing D&D &D and decided to go in the spider tunnel, so yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, sounds like a good idea to me. Let okay, very question. Are spider webs flammable? Yes. 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 So what is stopping us from just setting it ablaze and waiting a few Choking an hour or two and just then go in? Because fire uh, eats up all the oxygen in the air, and it was gonna take a long ass time for the oxygen to be replenished. Yeah. Science! So, I don't need oxygen. Yeah. Well, I then you go alone, you stupid robot. No, I <laughs> just thought also. What does everybody have against me? <laughs> uh, that you aren't one just that you aren't running and saying, let's go to the goddamn spider tunnels. <laughs> I just don't like spiders, that's all. <laughs> All right, well, let's go and kill them. All right. This is why we take a half year to get through half the campaign. Especially that I know that there's a spider out there that gives you a four hour painful erection and then you die. Yeah. So I don't want to die, die by boner. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you're, a, you're metal. I, I, Silence. I, I, wait, didn't we already roll that you don't have a penis? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I don't want to know what the body effect is of a boner. Is. I don't want to figure that out. So anyways, DM, we are at the spider tunnels. <laughs> are you leaving? Aiden's pouting about not getting more mules. Are you guys leaving <laughs> Grox Flag? Yes. 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 Yep. You're, Maybe. You're, you're able to get your equipment from, uh, no, no Kronk, you're leaving. <laughs> we'll buy you more uh, mules I, later. I, I will put you on the railroad train, okay? Hi, <laughs> you motherfucker. So, you get your equipment from the Black Skull, or Black Skull. And you begin, okay, now I gotta bring up the notes now because Aha. I didn't think I'd ever get to the, what happens after you guys leave. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Now, you guys got uh, yep. rations, right? Water. You stocked up on that. Yep. Nope. No. You don't need food, you stupid robot. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm saying no. Um, several that of the guy. several of the guards escort you out of the city, along with a uh, single stone giant. You remember him as the apprentice that came to uh, came to you after you fought his friend who went crazy with the two heads. Yeah. Um, when you're leaving the gates, actually, um, you notice the dark elf in the cloak, just like just a little bit in the distance, still in the city, watching you leave. And she's making it very obvious as she's watching you leave. You get about a mile away from the city when the guards and the giants said, this is as far as we can take you. Can I cast, use cantrip to cast an illusion of myself and have that be carried back to the city with them? Now, what's the spell again? Uh, minor illusion. What does Minor Illusion say exactly on what it could do? Oh, damn it. I don't... Now I'm thinking about it. Maybe it can't do a human. Let's see. I'm looking at it right now. Uh, shit. An inanimate object. Never mind. I, I'm going to... Just for funsies, I'm going to have them carry back a illusion of a treasure chest. Make it look like they're carrying back something that we were having. So maybe the elves will get curious with that. Now, let me see. You could create a sound or an image of an object within a range that lasts for the duration. The range is 30 feet. Shit. Um, if you create sound... I thought I could cast that. Does it disappear once I'm 30 feet away from it? Yeah, once you're 30 feet away, it'll disappear. Well, and, there goes my idea. And it has to be static. Like, you can't make it move. Damn. Okay. Well, this cantrip sucks. Um, all right. I got nothing. It's a cantrip. It's not like Phantasmal Force. <laughs> So what right. was does Rosie try to do? Uh, nothing. Um, okay. Just because it was a stupid idea, and I'm just like, I tried. Okay, uh, so you guys get to pick. At uh, the speed, you guys are going to travel. Fast speed, you obviously cover more distance, but it's gonna you can't forage for food when you're traveling at fast speed, and you get a reduction in your perception checks from being ambushed. But you do get away from Dark Elves faster. A slow speed, the exact opposite. You can forage for a lot of food. It's almost almost impossible to get ambushed. But the Dark Elves will catch up. Or the average speed. In uh, which you don't get any bonuses or penalties. I might argue for slow. Just because we know that the Dark Elves are right fucking there. So 
being ambushed by them would be the worst possible thing. What do you guys think? I, I say we go fast. I. Hmm. How many want want to go fast and how many want to go sh at a normal pace? All right. Um, uh, Fowlin. I say normal because you still need to cover distance to get somewhere else. Crunk? Because just waiting to be attacked, which is what you do with slow, doesn't really help us because we're trying to avoid a fight. True. Fair point. Crunk, what say you? I'm just putting this as a backdrop, by the way. Don't worry. Demogorgon's not there. Ah! Demogorgon! Ah. Alright, uh, uh, Stark? I can't give my answer, okay. <laughs> well, you do. I Very asked three times. You didn't say nothing. I'm like, yeah, because people kept talking over it. Oh, okay, Dude. fair enough. <laughs> That's why we type in and chat. What the heck? I'm not even paying attention to what you guys are typing down. I'm just waiting. So, for <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's just walk a normal walk. I say we we sprint it. Okay, do give me a vote in chat. One, That's what I've tried to do okay, right. no, 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 Here's okay. One for slow, two for average, three for fast. Everybody go. Three. Fast is just too out of character for all of us. So <laughs> I like to take things slowly. Okay, so you guys are going to average speed. Hmm. Okay. Sure you do, Rosie. Sure. Now, you do. okay. Now I, this is what I mentioned before with uh, the prince and Jim Jar, because I'm going to stop actually having them appear in combat so they stop sucking up your XP and it's just less things for me to control uh, but the player characters could choose to have them as equipment quote unquote so if somebody <coughs> wants to team up with the prince like once per combat you could choose to have advantage on an attack if you choose to team up with Jim Jar it's like a once per combat you could do an extra d4 points of damage I'm already controlling two characters, so I'll leave that to you guys. No, you don't actually control them. This is kind of like an extra piece of equipment you have. For them. Oh, fair enough. I choose the prince. Uh, Sorelia, do you want to take um, Jim Jar since you got the most damage? Yeah, the, an extra damage boost would be awesome. Okay, so Perfect. I'll write down somewhere that you guys are like teaming up with these two characters. Now, traveling to the Underdark, the first day, everybody go ahead and uh, reduce your rations by one. Anybody that's eaten. If you don't have any rations, say so. Yeah, say so. I got... I got what is... Do I have rations? It, you don't I need have to eat rations, um, and I don't... Yeah, but I still need to check if I have them. You oh know, the, the Prince and Jimdar were able to get themselves their own rations for the next two weeks. So you don't have to worry about them for 14 days. Because I'm just checking if I have rations, because out of experience, I know this group won't ask anybody that doesn't eat for rations. Yeah, I okay. uh, still have six left. Yep, I got plenty left. I have four. Okay. Um, as you travel to the Underdark... Uh, oh, who has a light source out, by the way? Who's uh, I have light on me. Okay, Rosin has a light source on herself. Adion, what are you, who are you casting light on? Um, probably my beard, as per <laughs> usual. Glowy beard. Alright, uh, Elvif does beard. have her glowing sword. Um, Buck, are you using any of your torches? Uh, sure. Yeah, the torch only lasts for one hour. Okay. Oh, just stay near us, Buck. Yeah. Okay. I, I do be shining. In the distance, you could hear what sounds like running water. When you approach it, you see a fairly large stream. And now, now it's like you. you. As I say, sound like you're going to say something else. No, you, you, you approach a very large stream. It's probably about uh, 30 feet wide or 10 meters. Okay, can we do a perception check to see if it can be forded? Oh, yeah. Let's just throw the midget in there. <laughs> Anyone want to aid me on this perception check before I roll? I will aid you, sure. my love. 80, uh... Oh. Yeah. You only needed a five. This is a very easy check for you. When you check the, the stream, it doesn't look like it goes down too deep. 
probably about uh, four feet deep. So Whiskers and Adion will have trouble crossing it. But you also notice that the water seems to be fresh. Wait. And there's fish in the stream. Ooh. Yeah. Can we forage for water and food? Oh, you could attempt it. Can I send Isabel in and just try to snag one? Uh, yes. Anybody that would yeah. like to forage, um, the DC on this is only a 10. Survival, right? Yes. What is found Can in that? Whisker also forage? I feel like he'd have fun, you know, stabbing his little hook horror. <laughs> He would, be, uh, he would kind of be like a lawnmower, I think. Uh, um, I am a bear. You're a bear folk, but you could go ahead and try to forge if you like. Um, Coco? No. Uh, Did you say I had... Yeah. God, God damn it. Well, hey, we got it out of the uh, way. I mean, I mean th this is just this is just like the dice that's being mean to Cerulean. Like, I feel like it wants to bill no. you. Oh, Adia. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I see it a was... one, and I just automatically think Cerulean. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 there's a false of habit to think, Ted. Okay, so... It's a survival, uh, check. It's a survival check, correct? Yeah, survival sure. check. Okay, um, you just don't find it. You just get super wet, but you don't get anything, Adia. What about me and Isabel? Khan goes and slaps out okay. all the fish. Everybody that passed, go ahead and roll a d6, and that's how much day's worth of fish you're able to catch. Uh, what about Whiskers? Just... Does Whiskers catch any fish? Go ahead and roll a d20 for Whiskers. Two. Six. I roll for me and Isabel at the same time, and I'm going to carry the fish. Okay. Yeah, Aiden, you go, go ahead and roll a d6, see how much fish Whiskers gets. My boy. Damn, he's good. He's so good at fishing, even though he just stabs his little claw. Roll, roll a default. Um, yeah, Whiskers has like five fish just stuck on his claws. <laughs> it's like spear fishing. Yeah, it's kind of like it a. Just, like, I like, like, yeah, it's like a shish kebab of fish. Yeah, he just like waggled into the same and he went like too and flapping. A fish kebab. You could also use the stream to uh, fill up any water jugs or water skins you have. Hey. Uh, mine are full. I've got two and they're both full now. I have a full water skin that I never actually drank, so I don't think the water is good anymore. Uh, be, oh, you, if it's stale, you can go ahead and dump it out and refill it. How, how much does a fish weigh? Yeah, I'm going to um, do that. Each fish is a pound. I have five water skins. I don't like that. There's fish in my bag of holding. <laughs> Smells a bit fishy to me. Anyways, what's the pursue <laughs> level? But I'm pumped. Can I take fish the fish now. from Whiskers? Like, yeah. Whiskers isn't gonna, like, get mad at me if I take the fish away, right? Uh, no, he wouldn't. Um, the pursuit wants level... to carry six fish? It's like, I actually have the pursuit level here, but I'm not gonna tell you guys. I think that'll make it more suspenseful. I'll take the fish, uh, Craigie. Now, yeah, are I you... Have six. Now, are you guys going to attempt to cross the stream, or are you going to try to find a go around, trying to find a? I'm going to cross it. I'm just going to walk straight through it. I'm going to jump over. It's thirty feet or ten meters. I'm going to jump as far as I can. I oh, freaking Jesus. Okay, you, you you jump and splash into the stream. It's, it's not a hard stream, so it's not like you're going to be swept away. Can I maybe quickly kick him? Uh. <laughs> If, if you want, go ahead and give me an attack roll. <laughs> I even just want to see how far I can kick him further down the stream. Is that enough? Uh, I know that's not going to beat his AC. He's going to avoid that. Hmm. Yeah, my AC is 15 now. Yeah. And... and now we know. And and you keep forgetting, like, your, your, your character's kind of weak, so I don't know how much more distance you could add. Oh, there was actually more just to pull a, like, a limp leg, like, make him trip. Oh. Like, five could have booted him a long way. <laughs> oh, he would just have yeeted them across. Okay, so five is everybody so going to is everybody going to try to cross the river? Yes. Or stream, rather. Um, I'm going to put I'm going to put whiskers on uh Rosie the 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 mule. Okay. Just so whiskers doesn't have to get wet. <laughs> I don't wonder why is that mule called Rosie? It's because of Rosalind. 
Yeah, Adrian named it when he thought Rosie was dead. So, like, a thing to remember her by. Yeah, but then Rosie didn't end up being dead, so now we just have a mule named Rosie. <laughs> like I said, it's real sweet, to be honest. It's because the mule <laughs> is conventionally attractive, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> okay, seeing as how you decided to cross a stream, that does reduce your pursuit level by one. I thought you said you weren't going to tell us. I didn't tell you that. Exactly. We don't know the is. pursuit level. Oh, valid. Yeah. We don't know the total level. For the same thing, we're on one. For the same thing, we're on five. Alright, so we don't pour the rest of the people on stream. Let's keep going. Uh, no, you guys are already on my stream. I'm not Let's keep going. Anyway. Not <laughs> well, with wait, that wait. last joke, I'm I'm gonna have to go, y'all. It's about three thirty here. Right on. Thanks so much, Buck. Oh yeah. my God. Okay. We're in the same time zone. How blessed am I? Yeah. <laughs> Calm down. Now, 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 here's the thing: because something is going to happen very soon. And I don't Great. know if you guys want to do this without fuck around. Should we uh, call it then? Let's see. Right now, my time, it is 1.29. How's everybody else feeling? Tired. Uh, it depends uh, on you guys. Pretty decent. I could keep going. Yeah, I, I have to go at some, most half an hour. I have to do some stuff now. Uh, okay, so we're losing both Buck and Star King. I would yeah. say if we're down to, let's just call it for next week. Hmm. I mean, no, that, it, it, you, it, it makes more sense to do it. It's like, normally I like end it on a cliffhanger. And I had a really good cliffhanger for this one, too. But I guess I got to save that cliffhanger for next week. Our cliffhanger is we don't know. I, I didn't think we were going to be arguing so much about trying to get a mule or spider today. <laughs> also, don't forget about the chest. Oh, that's right. Thank you, Cranky Pants. Before anybody leaves, I'm going to go ahead and open up the chest. Uh, the chest, the chest. So we have been donated 18.75 lemons today, so I'm going to put half of that into the chest. So well, see. you should put in like what you got yesterday during yesterday's stream, too. I didn't stream yes, yesterday. Yes, there was no stream. Oh, yeah. That's why I'm doing it today. All right, so I put in nine. And I'm going to distribute it right now. We only have 23.4 lemons in there, so it's not much to distribute. So ah. don't feel bad if, it, if you can't uh, open it. It's still Thanks, better. Than gave me at least a penny. Yeah. Now, I already I already talked about this about some with some of you guys, yes, but sure. I am working on. Hey, yeah. thank you for the follow, uh, Madeline. Well, USA review. Made in USA. Well, how do you say made that? In made in USA. USA. Oh, made in. Oh, okay. I said mad. Uh, whatever. Made in USA. Hmm. So and oh, Sorelli got seven point one. Rent four point five. Oh. Cranky three point five. Star King three and Tree two point seven. Oh, no. Yay! I got right. a penny. Now, the what the the homebrew I'm working on. I am bringing back the unsung hero campaign from a long time ago, but it is going to be revised a lot. I know some of you. I've talked about the campaign silly, and I try to work it on with the Sky Islands. Uh, we talked about it some more. We hammered out some of the lore, and we're going to be going to be combining the two. Hmm. So, once I get it all hammered out. When you guys are done with chapter one of Out of the Abyss, I would like to do the homebrew. We are not going to use fifth edition rules. We're going to use a D6 system. No. D6 system what? is just a quick crash course of D6 system. With D20 system, you go use like D4, D6, D8, like all those different dice, right? D6 mm -hmm. system is you only use the D6. Cranky and Sushi were actually with me when I tested out a D6 system. Ah, yeah. So, essentially, there's a lot of, much fewer stats. You only get three stats. Strength, Reflex, Intel. Love it. Um, everything is based on a D6. So, depending on how many skill points you have and a certain skill. Let's say Rosalind, Cranky, or get into combat. Rosalind is a master of the short sword. So, she puts all her skill points in a short sword. Cranky... Is more about magic, but doesn't know how to use a dagger very well, but it's using a dagger for some reason. So you guys start off with 3d6 dice. Rosalind, you get an extra 4d6 because of your skills. And since you're really good in dexterity or reflex, you get an extra 2d6. So that's nine six-sided dice. <laughs> Cranky, you get 3d6 and then one because you kind of know how to use a dagger and that's it. So you're rolling 4d6. You both roll. 
whoever gets the most successes wins. A success is if you roll four, five, or six. I like that. So you're just rolling against each other. Whoever gets the the most successes is the one that deals whatever damage. The more successes you get, the more damage you do. Interesting. <clears throat> so that's a system I'm going to move moving towards. I found a YouTuber that's actually trying to make a legit D6 system with uh, more advanced rolls that I'm trying to learn. But this is going to be with the rate of this campaign is going a few months out, possibly years. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> we spent too much time arguing and shit. Don't get to the damn spider cave. So, um, if you guys are interested in that, you know, just keep that in mind. Um, the only problem I have with this system this guy's working on is it doesn't really have a level in system. So I'm trying to figure out what to do with that. But mm. that's going to be a ways from now. Yeah. So thank you everybody for showing up. I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for popping in the stream. Hope you had fun. And tomorrow, it's going to be another Among Us event. Maybe be, um, Enemy Beyond. On board. Or, or both, depending on how the servers work. On board. That, that's what I said. Enemy on board. Yeah, on board. Or both. No, you said okay. enemy on both. Uh, Anyways, thanks for showing up, everybody. Or Jackbox, <laughs> whatever. You guys have a great night. I'll catch you later. And Jack, you're... Never mind. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.